Hello and a very good afternoon, good morning. Welcome along to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. It is Sunday. It seems like an absolute age since I've been here on a Sunday. But here I am uh, and thoroughly looking forward to the two shows that we've got coming up. Of course, Second Chance Sunday coming your way a little bit later on where it will be your chance to get your hands on all of those deals. Uh, lots of our favourite deals that we've had very recently if you've missed them. Uh, but this show is the Craft Along where, yes, you are going to get the chance to craft along live with us here in the studio over the course of the next couple of hours we do it in real time for you and um, yeah if you haven't got the goodies that we're going to be crafting along with in this show I'll give you all the necessary information you need now on this little show there's a little old me I'll introduce you uh, to our wonderful crafter over the other side of the studio in just a few moments time but also I kind of feel that it's one of those shows where we need an extra pair of hands so here we go I'll just press they've got a button over here a new button that you can press when you need an extra uh, presenter so what I'll do I'll just press the button in a second and then hopefully the other extra presenter should pop up somewhere uh, usually probably from over here they normally arrive uh, and then they're coming so here we go I'll just press the button here we go beep there we go in any second now we'll get the extra <laughs> presenter uh, popping up and then the <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You're right. I'm grand, are you? I'm all right. Um, this is Annika. Uh, how many shows have you done with us now? Four? Five? I don't know. What are you asking me? I don't know. Four or five? Four or five. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, you come back for some more fun? I am. I can't wait. Is this your first craft along? It is, actually. Are you looking forward to it? I am. going to learn lots. Okay. Well, you're going to do about half the show. Yes. I'm going to do about half the show. Um, so do you want to go and like... I mean, I made you a cup of tea over there. Thank you, you have. I know, I look after you, don't I? Yeah, he does. I do. I'm nice, I'm a nice guy. Well, you go and put your feet up over there, have a cup of tea. Yes. At about, I don't know, sort of 45 minutes, you come over again, we'll tag team, you can jump in and I'll go and have a, yep. But you have to make me a hot drink for when I go and, yep. Thank you. Uh, yes, Ionica will be joining us a little bit later on, uh, but one lady will be a constant through this show, and she has been a constant in my life over, over the last probably two, three years, and um, I could never imagine not having her in my life. My TV wife is here for the Craft Along, the lovely Debbie Robinson. Yay! Good afternoon, Ben. What a lovely, what a lovely welcome to the show. And we are live today, live yes. with you this afternoon uh, for the Craft Along, where we're going to be uh, doing something that I actually launched uh, a couple of weeks back, Ben, and I was hoping and praying that I got this one because I absolutely adore this collection. Uh, uh, and this is the projects that we are going to be making. I'm going to do the little reveal oh, yeah. where we lift down hey. and you've got Santa sat on his little chimney uh, with the gorgeous gift card in here as well because this is what it's all about. These beautiful gift card holders. Uh, and we're going to make it all, including his lovely... You're going to have a little play with sparkle pens as well. Uh, maybe a bit of embossing. We're going we're gonna to have a little play where Father Christmas is peeking down his little chimney top um, to create a beautiful gift card as well as a card a card and a gift card wait a minute card and a gift card holder yeah. all into one the extra bits that you can add on afterwards are the personalization bits which I've left blank because this is your craft along it's down to you how to decide it but what we're going to be doing is making the whole of this lovely project from start to finish in these two hours and hopefully we'll get the whole lot done there so I am um, I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of Ben while I get myself ready because he's going to tell you exactly what you're going to be needing for this craft along project this afternoon I certainly will and of course don't forget we do it in real time for you as well so you can get in on the comments and go oh I just missed that bit that Debbie said could you repeat it oh, oh didn't quite get that measurement can you repeat it yes that's what we're here for we craft along in real time if it takes an hour it takes an hour if it takes all two it takes all two but if you've already got this collection this is what you will need from the collection uh, to be able to craft along with us this morning so you're gonna need uh, your jolly Santa gift card holder you'll also need your tint and sparkle pens your earthy natural sparkle pens we'll also need you to have some white stamping card you'll need your red centura pearl your matte black and your watercolor card plus some silver glitter card on top of that your 8x8 textured card pad in the neutrals uh, and a 6x6 embossing folder which is your brick layers and then additional elements that you'll need of course you'll need your trusty Gemini uh, you'll need your scoreboard and a scoring tool your all-purpose glue your red liner tape and you'll need a paintbrush and ribbon too and and 
Debbie's pointing. And well, can I explain when I was sending my list in? I don't think I mentioned my guillotine, so you need a guillotine for this as well because we're yeah. going to be doing a little bit of cutting as well. Uh, bit of an excuse, I had the window men in, they were doing all my windows out, and so I got a little bit carried away when I was getting out everything all ready. But yeah, just grab yourself a guillotine. Um, if you haven't got a guillotine, a craft knife and ruler will do and suffice uh, because I'll show you how you can do that as well. So yeah, that's everything you need then. It's going to be a lot of fun. Of course, if you've already got the goodies, then amazing. If not, you'll be able to buy the collection on the show. Plus, uh, we've got it on a multi by 42. We will come to that. However, um, I do just want to bring to you details of these sparkle glitter brush pens that we've got on the show. These are fantastic. Um, they've featured a few times recently and been really, really popular um, simply for the fact that, yes, they are amazing. Of course, they're water-based and you can do so many different techniques with these, but they're on a brilliant deal currently. You buy four sets and you get two for free. Uh, within each of the sets, of course, you're going to get three different colours. These have been rejigged, repackaged, if you like, uh, but you get a whole host of gorgeous colours, which I'll go, th uh, go through in more detail for you a little bit later on. Uh, the two free sets that you're going to get, uh, your tint and tone, so three in there uh, for free, and also your clear overlay pens in there for free as well. £41.57 is platinum, or £54.24 uh, $54 if you're shopping with us in the US. And of course, uh, that main collection, which is going to allow you to create these amazing uh, gift card holders. If you are someone who's got someone in your life who's terribly difficult to buy for at Christmas, and they always ask for money or a gift card, this is the collection that you need because it is going to allow you to create uh, a card with that holder inside as well. And it's super, super simple to do. Um, I'll go through all the boards in just a little while, but you're going to get uh, 50 59 elements uh, and 10 sheets of your cherry uh, Centura Pearl cardstock as well. Uh, the different designs are so super cute. You've got that really, really cute stocking in there. And of course, these are going to hold uh, those amazing gift cards, whatever you choose to pop in. You've then got uh, your cute little present again. There's that uh, gift card effect popping out of the box, which is lovely. This is the Father Christmas, which you're going to see over the course of uh, this next couple of hours in our, um, in our craft along, and then also in the collection as well. You have got a little snowman, and if you're going, where's the snowman? He's inside this one, look, there he is, and you go, wee, super cute. Um, so you're gonna get all four of those uh, in the collection. It's a really simple system for you to be able to create, and look at the price today as well, £32.79 platinum, or $38.36. Get your hands on these, because again, they'll never go out of fashion. Christmas comes around every year, and everyone always wants gift cards, so you're sorted on all fronts with this collection. We're gonna get started. As always, get commenting on Facebook, get commenting on YouTube as well. Get these collections. This main collection is on a multi-buy for you as well. Uh, you can pick them up on a two for 22 pounds or two for 26 dollar deal if you wanna do it. Comment on Facebook, comment on YouTube. Let us know uh, where you're up to if you need anything repeated and also let us know if you're crafting along with us as well because we'll hopefully show your pictures at the end of the show. Right, we are ready and raring. I'm ready, Ionica's ready. Erin uh, and Charlotte in the gallery are ready. Rachel on our socials is ready. Debbie, are you ready to go? I am ready indeed. So let's get started. Um, grab all the guillotine. And first of all, I think what we'll do is we'll get the base of the card made up first. And then we'll concentrate on the Santa uh, for the next bit. So first things first, you need to grab yourself some of the white stamping card. Because that's what we're going to make our base of our card out. Now, um, this one, are you going to be cutting two pieces? And I'm just going to pull out the leg, pop that down there. There, uh, because we're going to cut two pieces at nine inches by seven inches so if you are using your large guillotine absolutely fabulous if you are not and you don't have a guillotine but you want to be able to cut or you've got the smaller guillotine yeah. use your um, craft mat Ben so your craft mat is got inches running alongside the bottom and you can actually measure it to the nine inch mark it off at the top and the bottom and then use your smaller guillotine to actually line it up to be able to do that uh, so that's a, a little top tip that I always like to give people because sometimes not everybody has the largest of the guillotine. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you don't, that's absolutely fine because you can um, you can kind of um, kind of play with other other things that you have in your collection to be able to make it fit to the project that we're working on. So we're going nine inches by seven. So first things first, nine flush to the top, pop that down, and then we're going to take it to the seven inches as well. And then again, all the way to the top to the bottom. So that is the first piece that we've got. The second piece, 
is exactly the same. So we've got another piece of stamping card. We're taking it up to the nine inch mark, holding it into place, hold the finger grip and slice that down. And then the same on the other side where we're going to the seven inch mark. So you will have got two pieces of cardstock that actually measure at nine inches by seven inches. And then you're going to bring in your scoring board. So you've got your score master or your scoring board. And Debbie's just trying to find hers. There we go. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to run this along the long way. If you've got the big score, absolutely fine. But if you've got the score master, even though it doesn't fit on it properly, it's totally fine because we're only going to score two inches in. And you pop it up to the left-hand side of the board, Ben. Yeah. Grab your uh, tool mm -hmm. and we are going to score from the top to the bottom on the nine inch length side you're going to score two inches and exactly the same with the other piece you're going to score that at two inches and this now once you've burnished and we will burnish that uh, just right now while we've got it all together take your burnishing tool and we're going to score that fold in on itself nice crisp burnish because what you've actually done now is created the base of the card because this is how this fits together to create your 7x7 seven seven card. Very easy, yes. very simple to do. We'll glue all these bits down later, but for now, what we're going to do is just leave that as it is. And then what we're going to do now, and you can see that's where the little Father Christmas is going to sit. This is going to be his yeah. chimney breast, uh -huh. where he's going to sit inside. Uh, and we'll stick that down in a moment. What I'm going to do is do all the inside pieces ready. So we'll do those parts as well. So pop that to one side just for the time being. Grab yourself your black matte cardstock. Let's see if I've got my, where would I put mine? Oh, Ben, I've left it underneath here. Hey, oh, what am I like? Oh. What am I like? What are you like? <laughs> that we're going to create ourselves four pieces that are going to sit on this inside of the card and on the outside of the card as well. So you'll need yourself four pieces of black matte cardstock. And for these, we're going to cut these down to six and three quarter inch squares. So again, if you have got the uh, small list, do exactly the same where you use your glass mat to measure your six and three quarters mark it off and then cut it but because i've got my large guillotine ben it's quite easy to do this because your six and three quarters is on there um, and you're going to repeat that four times so you have six and three quarter inch square piece of cardstock so four of those panels so again number two up to the six and three quarters Number three, up to the six and three quarter inch. There we go. And then lastly, we'll do the number four. Uh, let us know if you are crafting along, by the way, and let us know if you've already got this collection um, and if you've been using it. Lots of people already watching. Georgie Ann's in. Uh, Barbara Rostovsky, uh, good morning. I got your surname right, you said last time, didn't I? And you said a lot of people get it wrong. Uh, hopefully I said it right this time. Uh, Katie's in from California. Suzanne's in from Ohio. Uh, and Alicia says, good morning and greetings from Arkansas. Listening whilst I get ready for church. Uh, Mary Lee says, hello from a beautiful Colorado. And lots of people happy to see Ionica back as well. Um, oh, that's lovely. An that's lovely. unexpected treat. <laughs> right, so we've got our black four panels cut. Now I want you to take your watercolour cardstock. We need two pieces of this one and we're going to cut these down to six and a half inches uh, in square again. So again, up to the six and a half mark. So we've gone down a quarter of an increment. So you've got two pieces at six and a half. The reason we're using watercolour cardstock for this is because this is what's going to create our, uh, we're using our sparkle pens and we, because it's a water-based product Ben we mm. need the premium card for it which is watercolour cardstock so that's our two pieces cut down and then the optional one and this is down for you just for literally for choosing something optional if you want to create a, a base on the outside of the card I've just taken two pieces uh, from the Gnome collection oh yep um, and this is going to measure at six and a half inches as well uh, so I'm I'm going to cut two pieces i'm actually going to cut them both together um, and this is just for decoration on the outside of the card so if you you've got a you know if you've got a particular card that you like uh, or a particular paper that you like uh, then cut that down but you'll need two pieces of that as well because that's going to be an outside base so ben i'll repeat those measurements again yes please. just for everybody 
So you've got your first card base which measured at nine inches by seven inches, scored in at two, and repeated the exactly, exactly the same thing, where you've got nine inches by seven, scored in at two. You just literally turn that round because that's going to be the base of your card. We've then got four pieces of black cardstock that measures at six and three quarter inches because they're going to sit in on the inside and on the outside, so if I turn that round in a second, they'll sit on the outside as well. So you've got two, two of those, well, four all together, but two of each for each side. And then you've got two pieces of watercolour cardstock at six and a half inches, and two pieces of pattern cardstock at six and a half inches uh, square, ready for decorating. And you can be doing that whilst we're getting ready, because we're going to be doing the Father Christmas one uh, in a moment, but you could be matting and layering your patterns. Oh, Debbie thinks, may, <laughs> thinks I may have just slightly undercut that, overcut oh, that, just, so I'll go yeah, check that, because it's not quite the same size. <laughs> Let me bring back in my guillotine. Whoops, live on air. Uh, but let's just check that that's right. No, look, no. I must have gone to six and three quarters with it on one angle. Let me just double check that one. Six and a half. Yeah, there we go. Six and a half. I've just not, I've just not done me two extra little pieces there. Uh, but now what you can do, like I said, on two of your black pieces of cardstock, you can be popping down your um, patterned cardstock. I don't want you to do it the same with the watercolour. I want you to leave that blank because we've got to colour this yep. and we've got to do some embossing on this as well. So I want you to leave those two um, panels. But you could be sticking those two down and getting that piece ready um, for... Well, well, we'll do the next stage in a moment, Ben. So I'll just let everybody recap that, get catch up with that while we're doing this little piece. Yep. Uh, but yes, that's, that's the first stage covered. Nice and easy. Um, as always, if there is anything that you want repeated, uh, if you uh, want to ask a question, feel free to. Also, let us know if you are crafting along today as well. Um, Ayesha just says, hi, beautiful Debbie R. You look fantastic as usual and so ready to learn something new. Um, Katie says, Ionica, lovely to see you. Uh, Mary Lee just saying, thanks to Ionica for the suggestion to watch the film Fairy Tale. It's wonderful and on Amazon Prime in the US. And lots of love for your pretty dress today as well, um, Debbie. Uh, Katie just saying, love your pretty dress, Debbie. Goes as well with your gorgeous nails. Oh, bless. Do you know this time? It's a top. It's actually a top. <laughs> <laughs> no one can see behind this bit, so they don't know if it's a top. Sometimes they'll tell me it's a top and it's a dress. This is, this is a top. Uh, yeah, thank you very much yeah it's nice and bright and cheerful we, had a, we had a cracking day yesterday didn't we and i just i just felt in a uplifted mood this morning so i thought right we're having something nice and bright with it being so beautiful outside it is and we had a, yes we did have a lovely uh, team get together uh, yesterday where uh, yeah most of us got together and um <coughs> had a bit of a party which was lovely a bit of a barbecue and um yeah it was all very nice uh, to see everybody there in the sunshine again up here in the north um right shall we have a quick look through um at some of the other goodies that we've got on the show because if you haven't yet got this collection and you're wanting to dip your toe in the water today and actually um, follow this particular craft along sort of word for word um, you will need some of the elements that we've got for you on the show like for example uh, the gnome pad collection this was so popular um, at launch and still proving really really popular now you've got your pattern paper sheet that's the one that Debbie was just using there so you've got lots of kind of um, patterns that you which you're going to be able to use year round and also, of course, you've then got the gnome characters in there. You've got lots of Christmas sentiments, which you can snip into as well. But you'll notice, and I always say this about this particular pad, it's kind of like a pad of two halves because you've got your sort of contemporary Christmas. And as we come to the front here, you've got those vintage colours in there as well. So you are set whichever way you want to go. And as I say, you've actually got some patterns in there which will work for you year round as well. That's included within this bundle, uh, 180 GSM and 48 sheets in total. We're also going to give you uh, the card stock as well so 24 sheets of your um, pearl cardstock and you can see once again that you're going to get uh, six sheets of each of the colors to match with that contemporary feel and then six sheets of the colors to match with the vintage that really is gorgeous and got that lovely pearlescent sheen 250 gsm and as you can see works perfectly with the colors that you've got on your pattern papers and then you've also got your 12 sheets of um, acetate and vellum what i'll do for you here basically you're going to get uh, three sheets of your, um, your acetate with the larger snowflakes. 
which are just beautiful. And then on top of that, you're gonna get three sheets of your acetate with those sort of smaller snowflakes. And then you'll get the same designs um, in the vellum as well. So three sheets uh, of each of those, making up the 12 sheets in total within this collection. I love the bigger ones though, those bigger snowflakes are absolutely stunning. Uh, and again, everyone's saving over 20% today, another 20% if you are platinum, uh, and that comes down to $21.27 or $27.29. Now, also on the shoe, um, from the Watercolour Christmas Collection, uh, we've got your six by six pad. This has been such a popular collection. Um, I think actually, you know, we were chatting about the Twas the Night Before Christmas, uh, how popular that was. The watercolour collection um, really sort of, um, sort of overtook it, if you like. And what I love about this collection in the back, you've got the uh, little pop-out characters in there. So all pre die cut and ready to go for you so you can create and build your own scenes. Um, you've also got in there um, kind of little um, mini sentiments as well. There's just so much in this collection. Uh, little banners included too. And then of course, as we go through to the front of the pad, you've then got these beautiful designs with the flex of foiling there. You've got some gorgeous scenes in there too. Uh, and absolutely stunning. And again, some of these not necessarily screaming Christmas. Uh, perfect size for your frames as well. Look at that again with the foiling, looks stunning. It's a, lo look at the snowflakes on there, by the way. It's a lovely, lovely paper pad with the added elements of those um, little die cuts in there. 36 sheets in total. And then on top of that, if you thought that deal was great, we're going to give you uh, 10 sheets of your Centura Pearl. Well, this is your uh, ivory uh, glitter, which is stunning. That's coming to you for free. 10 sheets, uh, which works out at £7.99 platinum or $10.36 uh, if you're shopping with us in the US. More as far as your paper pads are concerned. Uh, we've got your uh, everyday uh, delights in the solids and the, pa uh, the pattern papers. And this basically does exactly what it says on the tin. If you are short of ideas um, for kind of backgrounds for your cards, then look at this. You've got beautiful, beautiful papers of all different colors, all different designs. Um, and that's why it's called the Everyday Collection. You've got stripes in here, you've got foliages, you've got your spots, you've got your uh, checks in there. Um, oh, look at that, beautiful, beautiful colors. And then to kind of uh, complement that beautifully, we're also going to give you 40 sheets of your um, everyday delights um, in those block colors. So 240 GSM here. And as you can see, as I flick through uh, double sided, these colors work absolutely beautifully with the colors that you've got as far as those patterns are concerned. That deals phenomenal. 88 sheets in total uh, for £13.78 or $16.74, worthwhile stocking up on uh, whilst you can. Now, let's go back to the main event, if you like, because uh, this Craft Along is all about uh, these amazing Christmas gift card, um, gift card holders. Um, and let's show you the boards. Um, you can get these uh, on a multi-buy should you wish, but the best way to go for them is to go for the full bundle uh, for £32.79 today or $38.36. Uh, this little gift here is the most popular individually, but you can see how this works. So basically you're gonna get um, a template within each one of the sets uh, to allow you to create uh, the actual um, compartment if you like to slide your little mechanism in and out of then you're going to get the die for that as well that's where your little gift card goes and then you've got all of the extra dies to then add um, the decoration it's such a cool idea and as i said we all make cards at christmas time and how many people do you try and buy christmas presents for and they go oh no, no i'll just have cash or they go oh no no i don't really want anything then you end up buying a gift card uh, you know you pop it in the card it flips and flops around how nice actually to be able to keep it in a really cool uh, little santa claus here for example so again you've got the template to create uh, the compartment for it and then you've got the die there as well to be able to create uh, the place to put your card and then all the decorations to create your little Father Christmas too. You're going to get uh, stamps with each and every one of these as well to be able to build up your own sentiment. The snowman, I mean, come on, how much fun is this guy? I mean, seriously, all of the dies again to be able to create the little snowman's face. There's your template, there's your die, and look, you just pull on his little hat, and there comes the surprise. Uh, the gift card is within that compartment. And then lastly, in this collection, is that really cute stocking as well. And again, all of the dies to build up and create the little uh, presents on the top of the stocking. You can pop that one out. 
and then you've got your gift card in there. Um, sentiments with all of these as well, which you can mix and match around. And I just think they're super cool. Um, rather than, you know, it's nice to make a card, and no doubt you'll make amazing Christmas cards this year, but if you are making a card for someone who wants just a gift card as a present, you absolutely need to go for this collection. You're also going to get with it, don't forget, uh, 10 sheets of your Cherry Centura Pearl cardstock as well. That comes within the bundle, uh, and £32.79 or $38.36 if you're platinum. If you want to um, dip your toe in the water, as we said, you can buy individually, and they're on a two for £22 or $26 deal. Um, I just think these are brilliant because as I say, you'll use them every Christmas and chances are uh, every year you'll buy a gift card for somebody and I just think it's such a super way to be able to present that gift card beautifully. And I've not seen anything like these before, um, Debbie. It's a really innovative idea, isn't it? It really is. A very clever idea from Leanne and the team. Absolutely fabulous idea and the concept behind it fits not just gift cards that are here but are on stateside as well. It's a really nice idea um, and especially my kids, that this would be right up their street because you still want to give them something yeah. but you just don't want to give them it in like the card form in an envelope yeah. it just doesn't appeal no whereas these really have that fun factor to them and they're absolutely incredible they really are right Ben we just need to do a little bit more cutting if we may because yes. we've got the chimney breast to do as well which I nearly forgot about and just when I was thinking hang on a minute looking at my little list I'm thinking hang on I've missed something I've missed something so I just need to cut the chimney breast strips out as well so take your spare bits of card that you had from your other cuts you've got a piece of watercolour card and a black piece of card stock because what we want to do is cut this down to six and three quarter inches in the black and then we're going to trim this to and let me just make sure i've got this right because i don't want to i don't want to get these mistakes that uh, these made uh, one and three quarters and you're going to do that twice one for the front part of the chimney breast and one for the other part as well mm -hmm. so i know i've already cut it at six and three quarters so i'm going to take that back down to one and three quarters because if you think about it this little lip that stands up the trim what's going to be the chimney breast that's actually a two inch uh, by seven so we're taking a quarter of an increment off which is why we've got six and three quarters by one and three quarter take your white piece of cardstock so the watercolor cardstock and again we need to just trim this down by a quarter of an increment so we're going to go to six and a half by one and a half and that's twice we're going to do that as well and they fit perfectly onto the strips there like so so you can see you've got that perfect increment again so i know i've already got that to six and a half so we take that to one and three quarters mm -hmm. and that's all you cut in again let me just make sure i've not gone to seven inches because i know what i'm like with this so that's uh, yes i have i've gone up to it um it's a good job i'm looking at this isn't it and just thinking oh, hang on a minute it looks a little bit bigger than the other strip um and that's just because i can't see me seven because i've pushed it back inside so i couldn't see it properly I, I, <laughs> so let's just take that and now they should fit a lot better she says <laughs> yeah right so that's the two pieces so we've got all those four pieces now yeah and that's for the chimney breast as well ben and then what i think we'll do is we'll shove those to one side and i say shove i mean park them to one side yes and we'll get ready to use your and we're going to use the father christmas now this is are. just for this design of this card because he's coming out the chimney uh, but you could take this and do it with other things as well so you could you could have a little play around with this particular design but if you've got hold of your father the Christmas I want you to get hold of it now and then get all the other pieces that you need as well I'm just gonna pop all my bits yes. I'm gonna get myself nice and tidy yes so I'm gonna keep all of these bits to one side just for the time being and we'll come back to popping all those pieces together um, in a moment but get your father Christmas ready because we're gonna start to use this element. And this really is yeah. just a fun, fun die set. It really is. You've got the entirety of the dies on there that are gonna create his face. You've got some nice little features on here for the gift tags, um, down to every single element you can think of to make up the Father Christmas. Yeah. And, oh, Debbie, where oh. have you put your stencil? Oh, there it is, there it is. We've got the stencil, we've got the stamp sets, We've even got an instruction sheet that you can follow wow. as well, which is a really natty idea having that inside. Uh, but what we're going to need first to create our little Father Christmas, because this is where he is, we're going to need some red Centura Pearl, uh -huh. some white stamping card, 
You're going to need your neutrals. This is the face is the neutrals textured paper pad and uh, a little bit of silver glitter card as well. So Brilliant. I want you to get all those elements ready. Okay. And... And whilst, just, um, oh, yeah. sorry, Ben. Sorry, oh, I was say, whilst we're doing that as well, a um, few comments just coming through. Uh, lots of you enjoying the uh, the craft along. Um, Adriana just saying, I bought the gift, uh, one on HSN. It's on its way to me, so definitely saving this show. Watching and making notes, says Angela, so we'll make another day. I have this collection, and I made the Father Christmas gift card holder this morning. Very quick and easy. Um, Evelyn saying, uh, Ben, you're looking very spiffy today with your bow tie. Sunday best today, you see? Sunday best. <laughs> spiffy. And Barbara just saying, Ben, do the dyes come with the sound effects? No. You have to create your own sound effects when you, uh, when you make your cards. Uh, Barbara saying, um, the kitty I'm presently bottle feeding lifted up her ears at the sound. Oh, you're bottle feeding a kitty. That is the cutest thing. And also, just to say before we move on, Erin um, uh, is producing today, um, one of our American friends here, and um, she's got very confused with the term chimney breast, um, which Debbie has been using. That's what we call it over here, the chimney breast, the breast of the chimney. Uh, and apparently you guys just call it, no, not a chimney mantle. Like here, yeah, our mantle, I would say, is what, the bit is over the, the, over fireplace, the fireplace, the mantelpiece. Yeah. So the chimney, yeah. the chimney breast. So let us know um, if that's a new term to you uh, in the US as well, because Erin has just been going, what? Chimney breast? And she's now texting all of her uh, American friends as well. It's a chimney <laughs> breast, isn't it? Yeah, chimney, chimney breast. breast. Yeah. yeah, I've got a chimney breast in the front room that goes up into Leon's room. Yeah. And then there's a chimney on the top. Yeah. Yeah. So it's inside, yeah, it's producer area, it's in the yeah. inside, yeah, it's on the inside. So you go down your chimney, chimney, chimney breast. Chimney breast. Yeah. Because it's the breast that goes from the top to the bottom, yeah. whoosh, go all the way up. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what we call it over here. It's not me, I, I didn't make that over here. We, we call that over here, don't we, Ben? That's what we you do. Call it. That. Yeah, we call that over here. Yeah. yeah, it just went silent in my ear for a bit, and I, th I thought, what's going on here? And then Erin came back, she was just going, oh, I've, I've never heard that expression before. But that's what we call it. Us crazy Brits, eh, with all our funny <laughs> terms, eh? <laughs> 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 right, anyway. so have you got your bits ready? Yes. Fabulous, because we're going to create the sleeve first. So I want you to get hold of your template. Now, we could have made this in a die, but we'd have had to pump up the price a little yeah. bit. So we didn't want to do that. So that's why we've given it to you in a... In a, um, a uh, template form. Thank you. Um, yes. A template form. Template form. Now, to make life easy for yourself, and all you're going to do is, rather than, because it's a patterned cardstock, actually, I might have to do it on that side for you so you can actually see it. Yeah, I'll do it on that side for you. But I've taken a piece of red centura pearl. Now, if you're going for the bundle today, <laughs> you're covered, because there's some nice red in there, isn't there, Ben, which is going to work perfectly in our uh, bundle. with this. Yeah, you're yeah in red. the bundle. Yep. Um, now, to get the most out of my cardstock, I'm actually taking the template up to the very end it's a really simple sleeve to follow this because all you're going to do is get hold of your pencil you're going to uh, hold it down now there's a couple of ways you can do it you can tape it down if you want to tape it down but you'd have to move it in areas um, or you could use some uh, repositional spray uh, that you could use as well to hold it into place but because it's only a small um, stencil as such um, I think it's okay, Ben, to say that I think just holding it by hand will be the quick and easiest way to do this. Mm. So I've drawn around the outside, I've taken it here, because I know if I'm having it flush up to both sides of this, I've got a perfect size and I'm not having to do any cutting there. What I am going to do is just draw the line on, but I'm going to do it in like little stops and starts, because this is going to be, for me, the place where you, you're not cutting on this bit, you're going to just be doing the scoring. So dashes for the folds. Yes, so dashes for the folds. Exactly, exactly how um, perfectly put, Ben. Perfectly Thank you so put. much. Uh, so when you take that off now, you'll be able to see there on there is the drawing. If you want to make life easy for yourself, it's just difficult to see on the camera why oh, I'm yeah. right. So gone. that's why I've done it there. Yeah, it's just it's disappeared. <laughs> but you could do the same. And when you're at home, if I just use it on this side to show you again, repeat that. When you're at home, you'll, mm. you you make what is easier for you. And if I was doing this at home, that's exactly what I would be doing, Ben. I would be doing it on the white hand side of the cardstock. Yeah. Do you know what Suzanne just absolutely read my mind? Because I was about to say some people when they get these templates talk about um, rather than drawing lines around them, um, embossing. embossing. Is, is yeah. that is that a, an easy thing to do? Is it doable with all these templates? Um, you can do. But I'll I'll be totally honest. When it comes to a stencil mm. for embossing. Um, usually when you've got your patterns a lot easier, it would yeah. be a bit difficult because it's only two, three lines. Yeah. So in my 
my opinion for this particular type that doesn't have a pattern, when you've got something that you want to... So when I'm talking about a stencil, something that's got a, a pattern to it, so I, I have pattern stencils, you can emboss doing the embossing method with your rubber embossing mat, pushing your cardstock into it. I find it just a little tad difficult with these because it's just the lines yeah. that you're uh, embossing. Um, but if that's what you want to do, of course you can. But my preferred method and the easiest method for me is just a quick draw around onto some cardstock. Yeah. Um, and that's just my opinion. Uh, but you can see straight away the difference between the two. So if I just turn that over, uh, you can see it a little bit more clearer mm. onto there. So it enables you to cut it. However, this is when you're going to need to get your guillotine. So all your scissors. Uh, but I'll bring in my small guillotine for this just for a second. Because what I'm going to do is just line it up um, and cut this out. So I'm going to line up that solid line to the end of my guillotine. If I just bring that in a little bit closer for you, when I say the end of the guillotine, I'm not meaning the finger grip, I'm meaning the edge of the guillotine here, and just line that up so that I know that that's gonna be precisely onto the, uh, the, the pencil line. Yeah. So if I just hold that down, I've now got that lovely precision cut. Um, for these bits, slightly harder, so I'm just going to do it onto this top part. And again, all I'm doing is going where my pencil line is and lining it up onto the edge of the blade, not this piece, because that piece is uh, not representation of... Can you see there's a bit of a gap in yeah. between? You take it up to the blade part. Be very careful when you're using these because these are cell sharpening blades. They're very sharp, so you don't never lift up with the hand, uh, never lift from underneath uh, and mind your fingers and your nails out of the way as well uh, because they are super sharp. This is a guillotine. It's not a little plaything. It's no, a proper guillotine. No, it's not a toy. It's not a toy. Um, and then for this bit, because you're going in, to do it on a guillotine would be a bit tricky. There are other paper trimmers out there where you can manoeuvre them and, and place them around. Uh, but for this bit, probably scissors is your best bet. Mm -hmm. um, so all you're going to do is you're going to take it to that first solid line. And then we're going to cut all the way along here. If you want another precision way of doing it, Ben, you can actually take your metal head ruler. Oh, yeah. And you could use your craft knife. Oh, okay. So your craft knife and your metal head ruler could act as a pair of scissors as well. So you could take that and go down. And again, you'll get... With a craft knife, you're probably going to get more of a smoother finish than a pair of scissors, um, if that makes any sense. Do you know what I mean by that, Ben? I, I absolutely do. Yeah. Um, so you get like a very neat yes. edge. Scissors, if you're anything like me, oh, yeah. um, you've got to have a really good straight cut mm. to do that. So for me, my personally, myself, I'll just use my scissors for that little piece. And then I'm going to use the craft knife again. And it's always on the metal edge side because the metal on the metal gets that precision yes. uh, cut for you. Um, just to say on the chimney breast front, it seems that a lot of our American friends are confused by the term uh, chimney breast. However, Shadaya, who's in uh, Canada, says a chimney breast a chimney breast is a portion of a chimney which projects which projects forward from a wall uh, to accommodate a fireplace. We call it the same in Canada. Lord Ben, says Shadaya. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we were chatting about this last night at the party, actually. Uh, how funny it is, again, there's so many different words for different things. Like, we speak the same language, but we use so many different words for so many different things. Yeah, it's, we um, do. It's a funny old thing. <laughs> And, and some of us use completely different words that even we don't understand uh, in this country as well. <laughs> don't you be looking over here. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd say that. My own, my own language. <laughs> Debbieisms. <laughs> my Debbieisms. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Uh, now, what you're going to do is get hold of your scoreboard. So the dotted, dot, shall we call them dotted line? Yes. The dotted line. This is what you're going to score to create the sleeve and there. So what we're doing is literally lining it up now on my board you'll see i've got my black line i always use it ben because it helps me position things and get that it's a little bit trickier on a purple line trying to line it up onto a straight line so when you've got something visual like a black line mm -hmm. um it just helps for this for this purpose and again all i'm going to do is take my scoring tool and i'm not going to worry about the pencil marks because for the time being um, i'm just using it as a guide because i can rub those out in a moment and i'm just going to take that and score top to bottom just like so yeah and then rub out the pencil marks so use an eraser to rub those out for that neater finish. 
I think I've caught them all. No, nope, that one. There we go. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same on this side. So on the dotted line, on my black line, and I'm going to score that. And once it's placed on, you could either rub out first. <laughs> There's another phrase I can hear producer Erin going, erase it. <laughs> erase it. <laughs> yeah, we say rubber here. You say, you guys say erase. Erase it, yes. Rub it out. Yeah. Um, we say rub it out, erase it, you say, and it's an eraser and we obviously call it a rubber. Exactly. Um, and then lastly, on the other side as well, we're going to do exactly the same. Um, and I'm going to erase it out. <laughs> Are you saying that just because we're now... Would you For my lovely Erin, who's yes. in my ear, our lovely American Erin, yeah. yes. Yeah. Who's now a northern girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now what you'll have is your perfect score lines. So you'll turn that over um, and again use your uh, burnishing tool just to give it a nice crisp burnish. And this will create your sleeve perfectly to uh, fit around and fold over to create the base of basically his body because yeah. this is what this is which is why we've used um, this particular uh, colour. Now I'm just going to give you another little top tip and because I find that on this this can catch when you you know when you pop it down so just for the sake of a tiny little trim and I'm just going to trim it upwards just to give it a nice little neat finish when you're sticking it down and there's a reason i've done that ben because when that folds over now i've got a really neat finish yeah and there's you know there's no it's not catching on anything uh, because sometimes with a template uh, you can get that you can get that little catch and it's just the fact that we've perhaps not scored it straight yeah. or matched it up um, so just make life a little bit easy for yourself and again i'm just going to erase out my pencil marks so i've got a nice clean clean uh perfect uh, little wallet and now what we're going to do is now and i personally myself i always say this it's going to be a bit difficult to see but red on red yeah um i use red liner tape and i'm just going to pop those onto the tabs uh -huh. top to bottom trim that off We've got a great deal on red liner tape, which I'll tell you about in a second. But this is the tape you want for construction, isn't it? it uh, absolutely, 100%. Anything with construction, I would definitely be using red liner tape. Again, it's a personal preference, but I always find that red liner tape gives me the strongest performance when it comes to anything that I want to withstand the test of time. You know, something that, you know, sturdy, yeah. construction-wise, uh, I, I tend to use it a heck of a lot. Um, and then all I'm going to do is just lift off the um, tape and I am going to fold the flaps in and then holding that down, fold over and there you go, is your little perfect wallet Fab. for Father Christmas to sit in. Yeah. So that's how, that, uh, that's how you will get to that stage. And then we'll do the rest. So I'm just going to give that a little extra burnish, Ben, just for a second. Um, any more questions that you've got, uh, ble please feel free to send those in and also let us know if you're crafting along. I know Lynn South is crafting along on Facebook. Lynn says, I'm crafting along but I'm using the parcel as a birthday version. And again, that's what these craft alongs are yeah. about. You can follow them um, kind of you know, point for point or if you want to change uh, the colours or if you want to change the dye that you're using. Absolutely, that's your prerogative, but um, we're here to provide the inspiration for you. Uh, but yeah, any questions that you've got that you want to throw our way, uh, please do. Anything you might have missed. Uh, and of course, don't forget, if you have joined us late, you can watch this show back later on uh, on Facebook or YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube and you can watch these back anytime you please. Right, so you're going to grab hold of your other piece of red cardstock, because what we're going to do now, Ben, is we're going to create the gift card holder. Okay. So that part, for the lovely Father Christmas, is the gift card holder. We'll come back to these little pieces in a moment, but for, for the time being, we're going to create this one using the red, because obviously that's going to be his body, this is going to be his hat, and this is going to be the bit that holds it and slips into place. So I want you to grab hold of some low tack tape, and Debbie has put her low tack tape down completely forgot where she's popped it oh here it is there we go <laughs> so we're going to use some low tack tape just to hold it into place and this is when you're going to use your gemini machine your die cutting machine um so i'm going to bring in my smaller plates of this one and i'm going to oh. pop that down and 
literally run it through on the small uh, on the thin die combination plastic shim magnetic shim and the other cutting plates and we'll run those through so producer erin's just been talking about the versatility of our products which you know you always get here at uh, crafters companions you're just saying if you turn that uh, die there on its side it would be uh, an elf foot an elf version an elf foot because they have the funny little shoes pom-poms if you put it on its that there you way. go. Yep. Uh, oh, the other way. Okay. Don't, it's not, don't, you don't, don't feel you have to do it. That Aaron's way. just. Huh? That way. No, on the. Like, the, just move on. Oh, I wish so I'd never mentioned it. It completely confused me. I think even Ionica looked at me then and she was like, just as Well, that's what I thought. When, when Erin said it looks like a little elf foot, I thought it was the way that you show it now, but they're all going no in the gallery, so even, even I don't know. <laughs> Um, oh, you're thinking the elf was sitting down. Just turn it on, turn it on its side. Sorry, Th like that. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. See, I can't see it now. That's his little head. No. There. What? That's his little head. It's no, head. elf foot. We said, I only cannot. Anyway, just move on. It was, it was. A, thanks, Erin, for the idea. But um, Debbie, where <laughs> are we up to now in this demonstration? Yeah. Did you see the look of tumbleweed <laughs> cross my face then? <laughs> Literally, I was like, really? <laughs> but isn't it funny what we all see? Isn't it funny what we all see? Yeah. Yeah, because we all see things differently. Oh, Anybody right. follow Fiona on Crafter's Companion on her page? Oh, she does her tea leaves. Cups of coffee. Is it tea oh, leaves? Oh, is it coffee? Is it coffee or tea leaves? Coffee might be coffee. Cup, coffee beans. No, it might be tea it's beans. It's the bottom actually. of a coffee cup, isn't it? Egg, that's it. The bits of the filtered coffee in the bottom yeah. of a filtered coffee cup. Mm. And she always sees something, and everybody else con uh, comments that they all yeah. see something completely different. So, yes, the eye of the older. Is that right, bird? I see it as a Father Christmas holds That's and exactly heart. what yes, I'm showing you that, that, Yeah, that's the way um, yeah. we designed it kind of uh, thing. But literally <laughs> now, <laughs> that will fit in perfectly into <laughs> the gorgeous little uh, wallet that yes. we've created. But looks a little bit bland at the minute, Ben. So we need to bring in the other elements as well. So we'll bring in, and I'm using some of the spare white card and some of the uh, spare black card. I've taken a sheet and of the uh, from the Naturals textured eight by eight um, paper pad. Neutrals, naturals? Neutrals, I think, is it? Neutrals, thank you, Ben. Mm. I knew I was giving it a new name. Uh, but yes, yeah, so you're going to do these. And these are the bits that you're going to now create. So we're going to create for his, um, for his beard yeah. and his moustache is going to sit on the white. Debbie's being a bit frugal there. Let me see if I've got another piece. In fact, I might have to bring another piece in that actually fits. So get your stamping card again because this bit will cover the stamping card. Just whilst you're doing that, I mustache you a question, Debbie. Go on then. Oh, I didn't get the joke. <laughs> Got dash, dash no. me a question. No, I mustache you a question. Musta oh. <laughs> um, from oh, mustache me yeah. a question. Go on then, mustache uh, me a question. Katie says, uh, Dapper Ben, could you ask Debbie, if you had to use a wet glue for construction, which would you choose? Tacky glue. Tacky. Without a shadow of a doubt. Um, yes, I would be using tacky glue. Uh, wet glue's okay, but you, uh, do you know the whole purpose? But you'd have to hold it for a while what, yeah. while it's stuck, because it's the one that gives you the extra uh, wiggle, wiggleability. Wiggle time, yeah. Wiggle time. Wiggleability. Uh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggleability. I love that word. Wiggle Just a little bit. You oh, we're doing that again. What? I said acid groove, you said no, it's not acid groove. Didn't oh, no. What's it called? Um, I, as, it as it grooves. As it grooves. Yeah. Did we do that on the um, pre record? On the pre record yesterday. I thought it was, yes. Yeah. Yesterday, last night, Ben. What are you talking about? Last night. Oh, when yeah, we were here night. in the studio. Of course we were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> what you're going to do now is you're going to take, a, well, his little uh, nose yep. and his little, and I say face, but if you turn it that way, you'll get to see. Looks like a bell. That way. Yeah, so that bit is going to go on to there. So again, just take a snippet and you only need a little bit. So if you've got a bit box uh, that's got lots and lots of these pieces in, this is going to be absolutely perfect. So we've got white for his beard and his stash. Mm -hmm his moustache we've got his face and his nose covered uh, we want to cover his belt and his bobble so uh, sorry not his belt and his bobble his hat and his bobble so that's going to go on some white card stock we've got the belt and his eyes which i just think is really cute and we've got the buckle so the buckle part as well 
And then, of course, you've got the merry. And we're going to use all of these. I'm destroying my packet here, Ben. What's that I one for the one that's like a letter I? Is that, what's that? That's the... This one. This is, is a hat. Oh, so across the, trim the top. The trim. And yes. the um, oh, So it's the, the other way. I see. little bubble. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you could be cutting this out into all sorts of different colours. Now, I did have my little scrap of paper. What did I do with it? Did I put it, Ben? I might have put it back. What, you lost? Yes, I did. Let's pop it here oh. because I'm going to use a thinner strip for this one. Mm -hmm. And again, bit box time. This is what I'd be thinking with these eyes. Get your bit box, ruffle, rummage, rummage through it and um, start to put all the bits together to create them rather than wasting new bits. If you're, you know, because if you're anything like me, um, at one time I had five bit boxes on the go. But not no more. Not no more. Only you're one. Your a new small streamlined craft room. Yeah, only a small one at that. So mm. yes, uh, new me, as we say. Um, but again, just take out the colour choices. Um, we know that his eyes, they're going to be, you know, little, little black eyes there with his belt. Um, and I think for, so I think I'll have a red one for this one. So let me grab a piece of red again. We'll have a scrap of red. What's that bit for? For the merry, because we're oh. going to decorate the gift card uh, okay. itself. Yep. Uh, because obviously we haven't got a gift card to put in there, so you can make your own up if you want to make your own up. Uh -huh. So let's pop that onto there as well. And then lastly, belt. Belt so buckle. It's buckle, should gold. I say. Are we going to gold? Are we going to mix it up? Shall we have gold? Because oh, I'm okay. using silver, but gold oh, looks silver's nice. Oh, silver's fine. No, we'll, we'll use gold. I think gold will be nice as well, Ben. Mm. I used silver on the original one, but yep. I quite like a bit of gold as well. So all of these pieces are what we're going to build up onto these in a moment. So for the time being, just pop those to one side and get all of these pieces run through your Gemini. Okay. Right. So um, I'm going to pop those on there, Ben. Good hope. So let's just fill my plate up, see if I can get them all in one go. Oh, you might just be able to squeeze I them. I might on. be able to, yeah. Might be yeah. able to get them all on one go. Let's have a look. A bit like the Krypton factor, this it, is. I know. <laughs> I was thinking the same. Show. I was thinking the same. Let's just see if I can uh, get that on as well. So push you up there, push you there. Just there. whilst you're uh, moving that around, Kathy says, I bought these last week. I uh, can't wait to work with them. Uh, lots of chat as well about English versus American terms. Uh, Terry Lee says, well, I find myself using English terms versus American the more I watch, including mispronounced words like foliage. Oh! <laughs> I mean, who says that one? <laughs> foliage. Uh, and Donna says another one, US versus UK, uh, is you guys say kitchen towel, we just call it a paper towel. Kitchen towel, paper towel. Oh, I thought they were. Oh, right. But yeah. I, call, I do call both. I call it yeah. both, actually. Paper well, towel would, and kitchen towel. Paper towel is like your blue roll. I would call that a paper towel. Kitchen towel is the, the bigger stuff that you have in the kitchen. <laughs> Funnily enough. Um, <laughs> and chatting about the tea leaves as well. Lots of chat about um, Fiona's. I think it's coffee. I'm going to have to have a look. It's coffee or tea leaves. Coffee grounds. Katie says, my mum would read the tea leaves. She saw amazing things in the future. I saw wet tea leaves. <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how you learn to do that, how you learn to read the tea leaves and stuff. I'll have to, I'll have to find out. Any, any tea leaf readers watching today, let us know how you become a tea leaf reader and how you predict the future. I would <laughs> genuinely love to know. Right, I'm just taking everything off, Ben, and just putting them up in the top corner there, getting rid of all my waste, but I'm actually doing a little bit of keeping at the Did same time because I'm putting my dies back on. Did you all do it in one go? No, oh. I've got my buckle. My buckle couldn't quite fit oh. on there, so I'm going to be putting my buckle on in a moment. But what I'm just doing is making sure I've got all my elements and I'm making sure I'm putting my dies straight back on uh, to there because I don't know about anybody else, but if I don't do this straight away, I end up losing bits. <laughs> um, and I don't want to do that today in this craft along, so um, I'm deliberately taking my time with this. This is the great thing about the craft along. Normally, no. normally I have to just shove everything to one side and do it at the end of the show. Mm. Uh, but it's really nice that I've got time to be able to do it all. Absolutely. And that's this. why you guys love it as well, because it's done in real time. You know, we take our time. Award nominated show as well, by oh, the way, yes. is the craft along. Uh, and yeah. those nominations end on Friday for our... We've got 11 nominations, thanks to you guys. I know. Um, craft along's up for an award. The Gemini is up for an award. Uh... 
Craig, what we can actually see. That's just, this is uh, it's Debbie's popping this tree. 11, 11 in total is crazy, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. All these. Do you know what I love what? is that, love, do you know the shopping channel one? But I also think this one, where we've got the um, best workshop online class. Mm -hmm. Because we're, I think we're the, about probably one of the only companies that actually do free online classes, which this is basically what this is. Yeah. Because uh, we do real time crafting with you from start to finish. So, yeah, get your votes in. Absolutely Look at right. That. We'd love it. Craftawards.com. Uh, voting closes this coming Friday of course uh, Craig, Leanne, Sarah all up for awards as well so um, if you can get voting we would love you to do it because we'd love if we can win one award we would be chuffed to bits if we could win two three four if we I mean whatever if we win one we'll be happy but we would like to win more with your help so thank you we would indeed we would indeed right so uh, have you got all your bits cut out because if you have we'll be ready to build it up so what we're going to do is we're going to build a little bit um on this piece the uh, father christmas gift card holder we'll do this little bit in a moment yeah um but we're going to build the rest of it on here so we're going to have him as though he's sitting inside it so i'm going to be popping on here first things first is beard so that is going to sit onto there. So I want you to get your glue. Uh, this is, again, entirely choice of your um, your personal glue choice, is what I'm going to say for this one, Ben. Um, so we're going to... I'm going to use tacky glue. Yep. So you can use tacky glue all the way around. Mine's decanted into my little bottle, but you could use your tape pen. Uh, you could use your wet glue. It's entirely up to you, this part. Uh, but that's just going to sit onto the top, right up to the very edge, just up to the top. And make sure that once it's got hold and got a grab you give it a little burnish and there we go all the way around the next bit that we're going to pop on is his face so we're going to pop his face on and sit that onto there as well so grab hold of his face mm -hmm. grab hold of his face could you imagine grabbing hold of father christmas's face <laughs> that didn't sound right at all did it <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Oh, um, bless Father Christmas. Bless Father Christmas, yes, bless him. Mm. Uh, but pop that on. And yeah. then we're going to get hold of his uh, his moustache. Moustache. His moustache. I had so to, um, quite a few years ago now, I helped Father Christmas out. At, um, I think it was, was it George's primary school? I think it was, it was George's school. I helped the real Father Christmas out by being Father Christmas for the school, um, for the school Christmas party. And that was one of my... Fears. Well, there's two fears. One is that my own kids would recognise me. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the second one was the kids, as you just said, grabbing my face and pulling the beard. Um, <laughs> it thankfully, it didn't happen. But I was thinking, how would you, ex how would you explain that? You know, if that did, that did happen. It was one of the most terrifying things I've ever done, being Father <laughs> Christmas. Oh, um, I can imagine you as a Father Christmas then. You I can. can. I can, yeah. I can imagine you as a yeah. Father Christmas. <laughs> uh, right, next bit is his eyes. I'm using a little, um, uh, I've got a little sticky pencil here to help me with mine. Yeah. But you can put his eyes on there. You can have him quite expressional, you know, but just by altering his eyes, it can be quite an, it, have an expression on his face. But look how cute he is. Look, he's absolutely gorgeous. I love him. Uh, I'm going to pop his nose. I'm actually going to use, um, I might use... Let's see if I've got a small foam pad for this one. Let's grab a little foam pad because I'm going to lift his nose off. Yes. Um, there, but you could use things like um, our um, oh my favourite chunky glue. Chunky glue. Chunky glue. But I'm right. just going to use one and just trim it around. Yeah. There we are. Let's see. So I don't want I don't want my foam pad to be actually showing. Uh, so I'll just pop that and then take that off. <laughs> Katie on YouTube says, try not to assault Santa. <laughs> I'll be on his naughty list if I do. I don't, want, I don't want that, do I? <laughs> <laughs> no presents for you this year. <laughs> but it just gives it a little bit of dimension yeah. with his little uh, fat nose there, just sat up there. <laughs> well, uh, so, sorry, Father Christmas. Not, not a fat nose. I'm so sorry. I don't, but it, it's squidgy nose. Squidgy it's nice nose, and squidgy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then we're going to take his belt and pop his belt on. So let's get his belt. Pop yeah. that one on as well. Uh -huh. uh, and again choose your, your 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 chosen glue for this one you could be using your tape pens uh, you could be using tape you know you could use your red liner tape for this as well if you wanted to um but this glue is just as just just as good but especially when it's dry it's absolutely fabulous glue um and then just sit that down and then grab his belt oh yes and we don't even have to thread it through because it's been fit to design so it actually Bad. looks like you threaded that bit mm. through there uh, but in reality we haven't at all we've just stuck a piece over the top so again, just pop all that down. 
And then lastly, we're going to move on to the hats on the um, folder part. So on the, this part, uh, we're going to now use the last two pieces that are going to sit on the very top. So the trim will sit there. This is when you could be doing things like adding your faux snow onto it as well, or, you know, glitter. You could mm. glitter him up. Oh, you yeah. could use your clear overlay. Oh, I think a bit of faux use snow it. on there would be lovely. Faux snow would look absolutely beautiful. Faux it show. would give it some more dimension as well. Yeah. So that's going to sit on there. And then lastly, I'm going to pop that on. But I think I might use my clear overlay, Ben. Give it a little touch of, touch of glitter. Yeah, why not? So let's pop his little... Um, onto there is little bubble and then let me grab my uh, a full one that debbie not an empty you've one. got your clear overlays on the show in our uh, sparkle pen bundle which i'll tell you about in a bit yeah absolutely and your red liner tape we've got on the show as well which we'll talk about in just a bit um but these clear overlay pens are just great aren't they they are i'm just making sure because i've been using some blue and i've actually got a bit of blue tinge coming through there but they're lovely because you can go straight onto your project so it could be pattern paper that you're sparkling up yeah uh plain that you could be sparkling up uh you could be using this over the top of your pencils or your um pens so your alcohol pens and things like that that could go over i'm going to let that dry so just sit that to one side and there's a nice little bit of a sparkle going off there uh, but my merry needs to sit somewhere so we're going to actually make the little because we're going to pretend this is the gift card we're going to put a fake one in there and um, so for this one you need to grab hold of yourself some um white card stock so again just grab a little bit of white debbie's got her piece on here and this is going to measure very typical to a, a gift card which is three and a half inches by two and a quarter inches inches so grab your guillotine again so if i just pop that to one side let's just move there and then i'm going to trim this down to the three and a half so let's go to the three and a half mark it'd be quite funny wouldn't it if you gave somebody one of these and then they pulled the thing out and expecting to get like a gift card in it and all it was was just a little message <laughs> <laughs> you could do though do you know if you've got Good. something that you can't you know you can't get in there you absolutely yeah. could do that as well yeah. so let's go to the two and a quarter perfect so i'm just going to move those pieces out of the way for a time being and then we're going to bring in the stamp set because there's a stamp set in here that again purposely for that reason where you can create um what it is that you want to say so you could put to and from on there so you could then label it to sapphire I'll say Sapphire as an example. Yes. From Nanam. So it's entirely up to you what you do. But for me, I'm going to put wishing you a, and we're going to use the Merry because that's going to sit in the centre. Uh -huh. And then Christmas. So for this bit first, rather than trying to stamp on one, I've stuck that down. Because this is raised, it'll affect your stamp. I would do the stamping beforehand. So pop your wishing you. So let's get the wishing you part. Um, a Merry Christmas, so we'll take the Christmas part off. But they, again, this is the bit that you could actually, um, you know, personalise to what it yes. is that you want to say. Now, I'm going to sit them both there where I want them to be, Ben, because I, then I can bring in my stamping platform and my mat. Okay. Um, thank you, by the way, for you guys who've just said um, you just voted for us as well. Uh, I know a lot of you have already, but um, Aisha just saying, wow, only five more days to vote. Good luck, CC. You guys deserve every award. Thank you. Um, Donna just saying, I just went and voted. Good luck on all of your nominations. Just to say as well, the stamping plate which we've got here, the 4x4, is on the show. Uh, you buy the uh, stamping platform, you get the mat for free in this deal. £9.99 or £14.95 is the deal on that. Less than 20%, of course, if you're platinum. Lots of great deals on this show. Um, and lots of chat about this collection too, which we will remind you more about uh, as we head through it. Um, is this the first one of these that we've done there? Because a few people said it'd be lovely to have like an everyday collection as well. Oh, I'd love, do you know, I'd love an everyday collection. However, there's the, the Christmas uh, Prezzies that could be used as everyday. Absolutely right. Yep. And what's the other one that we've got on there? There's the Christmas uh, presents and the... Well, you've got the stocking. The stocking, because the stocking wouldn't nest. Yeah. Well, I suppose you could get away with a stocking if you yeah. didn't decorate it in Christmassy colours. Yeah. Yeah. But definitely the present is for... Yeah, all occasions. Yeah, absolutely. Just depends what papers you use, I suppose, to um to decorate it up. 
Yeah, I, I just love these. I think, like I said, you know, for especially me over the years with my lot, as they've got older, they don't want gifts. They, well, they no. say they don't want gifts, but they're like, can we have some money, money Mum? Or can yeah. we have, you know, can we have a can we have a gift card or whatever it is that they want to say, you know, want want? And it it just gets boring when you don't put it in anything. Well, this is a lovely idea. Absolutely right, and I think, like you say, as as kids particularly do get older this is a set that you'll come back to time and time again and I don't like particularly giving money as well because sometimes I think if you give money it, 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 like someone won't necessarily buy something with it do you know what I mean it might oh, be put, gosh, put yeah. in the bank account or whatever and never actually get spent but if you've got a gift card then of course that person's got to go out and treat themselves so yes that's exactly what you need this collection for and why lots of you are uh, jumping in and buying it this afternoon now, my, my sparkle's all uh, dried, so it's dried naturally on its own. Um, and now this will actually sit into, if we just pop it in there, it will sit into there. So because in here, can you see these little marks? Yeah. They're already little uh, spaces for you to put your gift card into. So I'm just going to just thread that through on all sides. Uh, you could round it off if you wanted to, if you've got one of those curved round punches. Um, and just pop that in but I think that is perfect now um, and to go straight into my uh, gift card wallet or the sleeve so pop that in there so that we've now created very easily as well because they're so easy to put together yeah uh, but we've created our lovely wishing you a Merry Christmas uh, gift card holder so I think Ben perfect time to have a little bit of a break um, because we've now, and it gives you a bit of time as well if you are doing this to catch up yes. um, as well. And then we'll move on to the other elements to create where he's going to sit. Because the gift card holder, the Father Christmas, is going to sit inside a little gift card holder, so to speak. He's going to sit inside a little chimney pot. Uh, so we're going to have a little play with the sparkle pens next. I'm loving this so far. I can't believe we are only, what, 55 minutes left. Uh, do get in touch and let us know if you're crafting along. I just wanted to show you the other um, dies that you've got within this, within this collection. And actually, Terry Tom Anderson, love this idea. I'm showing you the stocking that you're going to get in the collection because Terry Tom says the stocking could be, be a baby booty for a baby shower. That's a top-notch idea, and I love that a lot. So there you go. You guys are thinking of your own ideas, how you can get year-round use out of these. But you've got that beautiful stocking in there. Don't forget, with each and every one, uh, you've got the uh, template to be able to create the actual sleeve, and then you've got the dies to be able to create the mechanism to um, pop out that gift card, and, of course, all of the decorative dies as well. Uh, to be able to, in this case, uh, decorate up your Father Christmas. Also, as well as the Father Christmas and the stocking, uh, we've got the snowman, and our little snowman is just here. Here he is. Open that one up, and there you go. You've got your gift card in there, or a little message. It doesn't have to be a gift card. Just pop a little message in there if you like. And then lastly, in this collection, uh, you've then got that present. Um, and again, you can use these on lots of different styles of cards, uh, as we've uh, talked about. Uh, on this Z fold here, you've got the present. Again, pop in your uh, gift card. Going to be super. And again, you'll use that all year round. I think that's a phenomenal buy. Uh, with each of these, of course, you get the um, sentiments as well. And within the bundle, we're going to give you uh, 10 sheets of your Centura Pearl uh, Cherry card. So again, nice if you're um, going straight in perhaps for the Father Christmas, uh, however you want to do it. It's a brilliant deal. Grab it today, £32.79 or $38.36 if you're platinum. There's also a deal where you can pick up uh, two for £22 or $26, um, but I would go for the full collection if I were you because it's super, super affordable and super usable as well. Um, something else which has been featured on this show, which you guys are loving too, is the red lineup bundle now we're going to give you uh, nine rolls of your red liner tape basically you're going to get three lots of your um, six mil each roll is 10 meters long so you get a lot this is super sticky super tacky great like we said if you're doing your construction particularly so you're going to get um, three lots of your six mil 10 uh, meters on each roll you're also going to get uh, your thicker 12 mil three rolls of that included um, in this collection so 10 meters of each and then we're going to give you three lots of your three mil for free um, it's the kind of um, adhesive as we said that you'll come back to to use particularly on your construction projects but you don't want to run out of it get this bundle today for 16 pounds everyone saves 25 percent oh, wasn't that funny debbie let's see on the back over there <laughs> sorry <laughs> we're just having a 
trying to stop myself from sneezing and coughing at the same time and it all came out together oh. so a thousand apologies if you heard that i do apologize i've, I've got done a bit of a tickle going off here i've done that before you get a sneeze and a cough you get what do we call it like a snuff you know what i mean when you do the <laughs> <laughs> um what was i saying everyone saves 25 percent and another 20 percent off if you are a platinum member 16 pounds or 32 dollars we're hitting the pause button for now on this craft along uh, and i am going to go and put my feet up for half an hour or so because as a lot of you will know ionica is with us so she's going to take over uh, and uh, take you through the next sort of half hour 45 minutes of the craft along in the meantime uh, do get your comments and questions in and more importantly than that if you are thinking about taking advantage of this deal because you haven't yet got it get it in your basket now Get it checked out and don't forget, of course, not only will you have the goodies coming to you, but you'll have a two hour craft along to work with once you get the goodies delivered. So two minute break. Uh, Ionica will come back with Debbie in just a few moments time. Uh, we'll see you in a second. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Hello and welcome back to the Craft Along. As you can see, I have transformed into Ionica and changed from Ben. I don't feel as smart as Ben without a dicky bow. I'm going to wear one one day. True story. Dicky bow. It's a little small bow instead of a long tie. I love it. Love it. So I am going to be showing you the boards, but keep, keep shopping away. Everything's going really, really quickly. Um, I am loving this Craft Along. Someone did uh, mention on the socials if I was joining in with the Craft Along, but... I would love to, but I'd only get halfway through because I have to do this half of the show. So next time I will be doing it from home. Don't you worry. OK, so we are going to go into the boards and I'm going to show you. But I have to have a bit of confession before we start. I can't whistle. So um, no sound effects. So um, <clears throat> we'll st I, I mean, God loves to try And uh, <laughs> here we go. So first of all, we have got the stocking here. And as you can see, we've got the template here, we've got the sentiments there, we've got the dies here, and then you've got these little dies that, as you can see, if you were watching earlier, Debbie decorating on top with the Santa, the belt, the buckle, the little nose, and then here, can we pull it up here? It's not very good with nails. 
Yeah, no, that's as far as my whistle goes. <laughs> I'm not very good at the whistling. And then you've got your sentiments here, you've got your joy. Oh, they're so sweet. What I love about these as well is that it doesn't say boy or girl. They are very much unisex, I feel, on here. Again, we've got the present. And we'll just lift this little baby up. And as you can see, just pull it out there. You can see the little gaps there where you can put the, the gift card or the little message. And then we have got the little Santa. So if you've just joined us, uh, Debbie was doing the demonstration of the gorgeous little, chunky little Santa with his gorgeous little nose there. And um, Debbie put a little message in there. Here we've got the template, we've got the dies of the Santa, his face, his nose, the belt, and then the belt buckle. And then you've got all your little stamps there. And then finally, we've got this cheeky little snowman. I love this little face. He's, he's lovely, isn't he? Again, we've got the template here. We've got the middle part, and then we've got the parts on top with your sentiment of snow. And I'll just pull that up for you so you can see. So there we go. And then you can say, I love you let it snow, uh, oh no, just let it, <laughs> to and from. So we've got all of those and they are $40.99, $47.97 or if you are a platinum member, we've got £32.79 and the $38.36. So we're going to be joining Debbie again for another demonstration of the skilled crafter that you are over there and I'm the basic Barry, so I'm going to be asking you loads of questions because I'm still very new to this. Bless you. Right, well, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to move on to the decoration of the inside of the card because Ooh. you should now, by now, have caught up and we've got our lovely little Father Christmas there with his little gift card. That's all done. You've got all your pieces as well, so you'll have your card base ready to put together. You've got your two panels with your decorated, and I use a norm card for that, so the norm paper patterned. Um, and then you've got your two inner layers and also your two pieces, which is what we're going to work with next of the watercolour cardstock uh, that are going to be the inside. One's going to be blue, one's going to be brown, because one's going to be the sky and one's going to be the chimney breast. Um, but I'm going to show you first things first, because because I am conscious that there's sometimes people who have just joined us who are probably not know how to use the pens um, and never take it for granted. So what I want to do is show you how to prime one of our sparkle pens. The two colours that I'm using to create the sky and the wall are from the Tint and Tone collection and the Earthy Naturals. Uh, but the one that I'm going to do priming from is from one of the other sets because these are the ones that haven't been done here in the studio. So whenever you get this, grab a piece of scrap paper first. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is if you think about this this has got premium ink in here beautiful vivid gorgeous ink with that micro fine glitter so that ultra fine glitter that's in here and the pen itself has got like a little, a little you've got to shake it to wake it up so to speak and you'll be able to hear that when i rattle it shake so it up what shake we're it gonna up do <laughs> is we're going to shake it all up and get all of that mixture, all of that ink, all of that glitter. So I've got to work out, got to tap around, wake it up, get that fine glitter moving in the barrel. And at the minute, we haven't even done anything with it, but you're just going to give it that good old shake because we really, really want to give it a nice mixture of everything up. So it's like a little bit of a workout. So what we're going to do is we're then going to take off the top part and literally take off the yellow can you see this yellow cap that's on the pen take that off and pop to one side and then you're going to screw this back down onto the barrel make it a little bit easier for yourself and pull the um the top off itself so take the top lid off and then screw this down to the top of the barrel. So top on that black barrel, that's now squeezed together. You've got your beautiful nylon brush on here. So it's a lovely nylon brush, gives you flexibility and movement as well. Um, now we've shook it up, so we've given it a nice little wake up. But what we've got on here, on either side of the barrel, is push, the word push. So you're simply going to start and... Oh, <clears throat> Look, it's already started. I've not even had to do much because I've given it a nice shake up. And oh, the Ooh. power of the beautiful ink, not only the ink, but the glitter popped together is just absolutely beautiful. So you don't flood it out or anything like that. You let it naturally come down and then just get that capillary action mo motion working um, and give it a good movement there around. And that is how you prime one of your pens. Once it's primed, that's it. 
you don't need to do anything apart from when you're storing these and when you store them you either have them laid flat or upright so it sits upright in there if you turn it and pop it downwards what happens is is that the ink and the, the glitter can uh, seep and pool at the bottom and then when you open it up it can splodge everywhere and that's the last thing you want so keep it upwards or keep it flat but when you've not used it for a while don't forget the glitter will have settled back down at the bottom of the barrel so you need to give it a shake to wake and I always shake mine with the pen upwards again uh, so that I know I'm not going to get any flooding when it comes out or any leakage it's one of the little top tips that we like to give you uh, but just give it a little shake or just rub it in between little pats just to wake up that glitter again and get it moving again if you haven't used your brush in a while but that's exactly how you prime a pen and it's a lot easier uh, but what you've got is that beautiful sparkle and it really that's gorgeous, is isn't gorgeous it? sparkle in there and it dry well the, the longer it dries so if you heat tool it and i'm going to heat tool my particular ones just to speed things up but you can let them dry naturally uh, ready for uh, coloring with uh, backgrounds which is what we're going to do right now uh, so i want you to get hold of from your tinted tone collection we're going to go for that beautiful um starry sky you've got the black in here as well so you've got the onyx black and you've also got the clear overlay in this particular set but the one we're wanting to use is the starry sky we're going to bring this in now i like to wet my my cardstock through first so i'm gonna oh oh ben i might need you to now, I know you said you were resting on your laurels. Ben's going to be the glamorous assistant now. I think I might now. have to have you working because I just need a little bit of water in here, Ben, if you would be so kind. I'm having a cup of coffee. Well, you <laughs> made me one. I can have a little swig while what? you're just filling that up for me. <laughs> Um, Rhonda's yeah. saying, Debbie, as you were lovely demonstrating how to shake the pens, just a note in capital letters, do not shake those pens with the lid off. Don't ask me now how I know this, lol. I know, exactly, I know exactly <laughs> what she means, Ionica, because <laughs> silly old me, as experienced as I am, um, not concentrating, I've taken <laughs> mine off and I've done this and then thought, hang on a minute, why am I wet? And then realised it's all over the face, all in the air, so I can totally empathise with you, shake it to work it with the top on, keep that It's certainly on. wake you up, won't it, if you're shaking it without the lid on. Exactly. Oh, Look at this, it's so kind. Thank you very much, Ben. So quick as well. Beautiful work. Beautiful it's beautiful like the work. hand off um, the uh, Adams family where it just creeps on. So you can wet your cardstock first or you can go on there um, at straight away if you want. But what you do need is a good brush. You need a pot of water. Oops, sorry, Ben. <laughs> I have water in all along. Oh, no. <laughs> you put, oh, I'm so What sorry. you like? What am I like? Yes, what am I like? Sorry. <laughs> uh, you needed a bit of a workout then, didn't you? Because you've, you've been sat there for at least five minutes. You've got to get moving. Uh, but yeah, get yourself some water and also uh, some materials to clean up with afterwards. Uh, because it can get a little bit messy, this one. Uh, but don't worry, because it's all good fun. Uh, but yes, so as I'm just going to do for the time being, and I'm just going to hold that there for a second, my coffee down, is just give it a light squirt over the top of my car, uh, my paper, which is the watercolour cardstock. Premium result as well you'll get with this but I do like to just give it a spritz first and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a shake to wake it up because mine's been sat for a while so I'm giving it a little shake up shake it up shake it up do, do, do. what was that Ionica with your shake it up, singing shake voice. It up. <laughs> yeah, that's all I know of that song off. it's beautiful your singing voice let me just tell you <laughs> and then I'm going to take off the top and I'm going to just pop down on now some of, oh, just look at this, Ooh. honestly, it's beautiful. And I'm just going to put a bit on there because I'm going to take me wet brush and I'm going to smooth or just move this out. And Gosh, literally, that's so much, isn't it? Honestly, it's <gasps> beautiful. And you can add more to it as well, Ionica. You can just pop a little bit down onto there. Ooh. You can use the brush directly. I'm going for a proper starry sky night. Have you noticed? Can you see? Pop a little bit onto starry, the top. And you night. can spread a little bit more just by. And if I grab hold of them, um, because if you don't like getting mucky fingers, there's nothing wrong with that. You can just cheat and hold it down with the poker tool. Mm. Oh, 
that's good. And Debbie's had her nails done, so I don't know if you've noticed, uh, normally I like getting inky fingers. People, are, people know me for getting inky fingers, but uh, on this occasion, um, I, need, uh, I need clean fingers, so I'm just going <laughs> to literally hold it down with a pokey tool. But can you see already yeah. that beautiful effect with a little bit of ink from this pen? Now, these pens are perfect for colouring with. They're perfect for doing all sorts of backgrounds with. Um, and they're just absolutely beautiful. But what you get is, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to force mine because I'm going to dry it off with a heat tool, Ionica. And yes. again, if you don't like getting inky fingers, hold it down, cheat a little bit and just dry it off with your heat tool or let it dry naturally. But what you get is that beautiful sparkle and I adore sparkle pens. I adore any of, I don't know what I'm trying to kid, I adore all our in mediums. Uh, but <laughs> honestly, this is just beautiful. Um, and create lots of backgrounds with, and that's exactly what we're gonna do in a moment because we're gonna do a little bit more with this once we've dried it off. But already you can see that starry sky night line, can't you, through the yeah. darkness to the, almost like the clouds there in the background. Um, and these are the kind of results that you can achieve really easily with these pens. They're absolutely beautiful. I, I, I adore them. Um, are you, have you ever familiar with these pens? Have you, have you worked with these pens before, Erica, on any of I shows? have the other day. And I, it's amazing how different, oh, uh, different things you can do with them. They're just absolutely beautiful now i'm just going to hold that up for a second i'm going to dry off my back as well just uh, <clears throat> while i can let's get that dried off as well can look you, at me trying not to get inky fingers can There's you burn the paper why. debbie you what though can you burn the paper if you hold it on too long can you see if you hold it too long Ernica, if you was to hold it there and keep it there yeah you'd end up burning it so i'd give it a, like a, almost like a wafting up and down across because you just have to be careful not to uh, when you're doing it. It's the same with heat embossing. Yeah. Uh, just spread it around. I mean, not wave it around like an air dryer. Just, <laughs> you know, up and down. We're not, we're not know, in we're a salon. We're not drying hair here. <laughs> but we're just drying the ink off. Uh, and again, Oh, just, wow, you can see it, yeah. Yeah, honestly, it's just, it's just beautiful. I love this. I oh. really love it. So I'm just going to hold that to one side for the time being. Um, I'm just going to clear up my little bit of mess that I've got here. So let me grab myself a wipe. Um, you could, of course, take some spare paper and wipe that up with the spare paper. Uh, but on this occasion, we're just going to um, wipe up the excess. Because look how much there is left over there that you'd be able to use. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and then just wipe up that area. Joan's just asking, are you using watercolour card here? Yes, absolutely. You'll get your optimum results when you use watercolour card stock uh, with a water-based product because that's exactly what these are, they're water-based products. So it's all nice and dry. If you want to give it a little, uh, you know, just a little flatten out because with the heat tool you can get a little bit of, um, can you see where it like kind of yeah. warps a little bit? Uh, but you can flatten that back out and once it's stuck down it'll be fine. But we're not finished with that, Ironica, because we're going to give it a little bit more dimension here. And I'm going to use... Let me grab a small brush for this one uh, because the beauty of a water-based product uh -huh. is that you can do water-based techniques with it as well. So I'm taking a little brush okay. and I'm going to go in and I'm just going to create myself a little bit of a moon and Ooh. I'm just going to keep on doing that until I'm happy with the result that I've got. Oh, so it's lifting it back out. Almost. Yeah, you can see it. And you'll see yeah. the longer you leave the water on there, the more water you add. Um, and you can simply just go in by literally do, do, oh, daubing, there it is. daubing, dabbing. <laughs> yep, and you can see it coming. If you want a little bit more of a stronger, just carry on going back in. Uh -huh. And this is why when you're using watercolour cardstock with your water-based products, you'll get the best results and you really will. So all, all, all I can see there now, minute, this almost looks like cloudy-like. Yeah, the moon oh, it could be mountains well. in the background. Yeah. But the longer you leave it on, the more it sucks out. And you can see it's sucking back into the paper towel or the tissue paper that you're using. Um, and then we'll go in and we'll have a few little clouds in the background there. So again, I'm just going to go in with a few little going across Ooh. the moon. So and it, honestly, it's just playing around with it. it. You just have a little play and you can create some really lovely effects. Do you know what this reminds me of? You know, in the cartoon version of Lion King, when yeah. they're looking out and he's giving him the world's wisdom words, wide, wise words of wisdom, that's it. <laughs> and they're looking out into the starry sky. It reminds me of that. Yeah. And he's looking out. Yeah, and like, absolutely. Mm. And again, it's just all about having a play. You're going to create your own background with this, but I've just taken the brush across there. We're going to go in a little bit more. 
because I still want a little bit more movement in there and tissue again and you can see you're pulling more out and you're creating oh, more uh, yeah. of a look on there and then of course just give it a little flick now I'm just going to flick it literally over the top of my finger or just down just a few little flicks flicks of water sprinkling of water shall we say and the longer you leave it the more effect you will get um, just over there so again grab another piece of tissue I love this technique because it's it makes it instantly almost galaxy like doesn't it yeah absolutely and you're going to create that and again <gasps> just look how lovely look. that's looking it's almost like little starry skies in there and if you want more and another thing that you can do you know in, the, in that tint and tone pack you've actually got your clear overlay pen in here as well so give that a little shake to wake that up as well and you could do exactly the same so I usually when I'm when I'm doing this I'll pop a little bit onto there onto my glass mat as a little palette and you can do the same where you can flick this onto the top and what you get with this is obviously there's water still in here because it's a water-based product and you've got the clear so it's just like pure glitter in there my fine glitter in there uh, <clears throat> I can see it going all over my counter oops hope no one's watching <laughs> uh, but uh, again when you do that and the longer you leave it in there it uh, sucks up uh, the ink that's on your cardstock and you lift that back what you've got now is like glitter on glitter um, nice. and it really is really quite pretty and I, ca I quite like that background I think I'm quite happy with that yeah almost like cloud clouds here in the background the darker sky with the moon just at the top and a few little things going around there it's very very atmospheric and I think really it suits uh, where that's going to be sitting behind Santa as though he's climbing out of the chimney uh, top so that is the first First part that we've done and then what you're going to do is again just clean your counter up so give it a nice little clean round someone's asking what wipes are you using uh, so we have just some um, antibacterial wipes here but at home I have some biodegradable ones because the girls have taught me I've got to be a little bit eco-friendly yeah uh, so and uh, they're a little bit pricier but it doesn't matter or you can just use a cloth cloth warm water you know a little t um, tissue t kitchen tissue with some water you could use your spritzer over the top you could spritz down your thing and then wipe it all up as well lots and lots of ways that you can clean it uh, but we've got a beautiful I mean it's worth it just for this it's just to see how gorgeous that is and can you see that beautiful sparkle mm. I love it when you use water to bring it out so can you see it's quite intense the glitter yeah. up at the top when you've used water to uh, give it the colour wash, it kind of fades out as it's going down, so you won't get as much intense. There's still sparkle here, but it's not as intense as it was up at the top, because that was in its purest form where I left that dark, and then I just colour washed it going down. And that's how you create those beautiful um, colour washes, mm -hmm. dark into like the mid-tone down into the uh, light tone. And honestly, I would get, if I can do it, everybody else can. You've got the tools here to help you do this. I'm not, you know, it's not something, I've just self-taught myself this. This is something that you can pick up. But again, just look how beautiful that looks. And we're going to repeat, kind of repeat that, that piece now. But with the second piece, we're going to go in with, and this is when you're going to use your two strips as well. Do you remember your two strips that we uh, talked about? Oh, yeah. We're going to use the two strips as well uh, to create this. So, and this time, going into the um, earthy toe, no, sorry, the earthy naturals, we're going to use the harvest moon and we're going to use the smoked quartz, an orangey browny texture for brickwork. I thought really worked really well. So I thought this set looks absolutely fabulous with that. Excuse me, while well, I take a sip of water, uh, sip of water, sip of my gorgeous uh, Ben's coffee there. Um, and again, just repeat. So give it a little spritz. So I'm going to spritz all of my cardstock. I'll do the two strips at the same time as well. So spritz that round, give it a little bit of water saturation. Uh, and then grab your two pens that you're going to use. And again, shake to wait because they've been sat for a while. So we'll give them a little shake up. When, um, in that glitter. when you're cleaning the pens, Debbie, uh, Deborah's asking, Debbie, how do you clean up your brush on your sparkle pen? So, on the spa so do you mean in this clear overlay one or the actual colour? Uh, I'm thinking just, maybe both. Well, I mean, basically, you just put your top back on. But if you don't, you know, because there's quite a little bit of ink that I used on there, just use a tissue just to dry that off and then you? pop your lid back on and then store that either upright or flat. Um, but uh, with this one, you can clear your brush. If you've got it, uh, you know, if it's being covered in another color, mm -hmm. you just simply give it a little wash onto your glass 
plate until it goes clear or onto ah. a scrap piece of paper and it'll run clear so you'll not get any con cross t contamination that's the word i'm looking for <laughs> <laughs> oh dear that was it's a big a tongue word. twister that that was a big word so i'm going to give a little shake again uh, this is natural when you've what you've put water on where you get the bowing can you see how it's bowed yeah. it doesn't matter because it, it won't affect anything but what we're going to go in with is a couple of the colors so i'm going to pop down some of the um Oh, wow. gorgeous and it is beautiful this one it's like an um, autumn orange isn't it this one and the same mm. way the brown i'm going to go in with the brown so again just spread it out i'm going to take a brush with this one though i'll come back to those in a minute actually i'll do it one by one um and i'm going to grab me i'll grab that a looks like a, a flame brush. from a phoenix the orange there yeah it's, uh, i mean yeah. you could like Erin's saying, you could just leave it like that and it'd just be an explosion on a page. And oh, you could have absolutely, you could. Anything. Yeah, absolutely. Or you could just squidge it around with your brush if you're not... About, I'm trying to mix the two colours in because I want a bit of a um, a warm brick look, yeah, if that makes see sense. Uh -huh. um, and just by spreading that across... Um, you can create that texture again um, and it, it doesn't matter honestly don't worry about if it's you don't want to you know neat and even it doesn't matter if you want to add more color though of course you can go back in and you can add some more color into there as well and you could use your brush you know this is a coloring brush at the end of the day so you could still use your brush um, and it's just literally giving it a bit of a natural warm color and I'm going to do exactly the same with the other two pieces so just move those to one side I, th um, I think what's nice about this if you if you were making them at home and you were making five of technically the same card that neither of the, none of them would be the same yes They'd all exactly be really unique wouldn't they yeah we'll not get they will not get two of the same at all uh, and that that's the beauty of it so um and there's lots of techniques that you can do with the sparkle pens as well one of my favorites is shaving foam technique i love doing the shaving foam and i what? was debating what whether is this the shaving foam with <gasps> this one uh, because i was gonna think oh yeah but i thought afterwards i thought it's not gonna give me the look that i'm after so i changed my mind at the last minute oh, right. uh, but we you know i i oh this one I'll wait with bated breath because I don't know what that is, the shaving So basically, technique. you just pop some shaving foam, cheapest chip shaving foam, into a tub. Okay. And then you drop droplets of the ink into um, said shaving foam. Right. You then take your little poker tool and swirl it all around and yeah. mix all the colour up. And then you lay your quarter colour cardstock onto the top or other things like Centura Repel. You can, you can do things like that. Um, and then create the most beautiful marble effect. Ionica, I promise I will show you. I yes. promise I will show you that lovely technique because it really is a gorgeous technique. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. And one that I do love to do a lot um, of backgrounds with as well does it so dry textured it dries do you know like mar actual marble oh, it right. looks like a marbling effect and Ooh. it's absolutely beautiful it's such a gorgeous uh, gorgeous technique uh, so yes i will try and uh, do that at some point for you now Ooh, i'm, I'm going to heat blast this one as well so let's give these a nice little heat blast and we're just speeding up the process the drying process as I've been talking to you, some of these areas have been um, already drying. Drives fast, isn't it? So I'm just going to lift those up because what we're going to do next, well, I did try to self stop myself from getting into fingers, but I don't think it's quite Oh, worse, Debbie, really look at that. that. I know, I know. That's Never mind. It's the joys of crafting. And you know what? I don't care if I get into fingers. <laughs> it washes off. Um, and a lot of people ask me what, what I use. I use a, a soap over here called Imperial Leather. Me too, on my face. You use that as well. I do. Yeah. So Imperial Leather and uh, a nail brush, you know, a scrubbing brush. Oh, yeah. And that's all I do, and that's how I clean my fingers. Yeah. So come 7 o'clock when we're here for Second Chance Sunday, they'll be nice and clean, because I think I've got one in the bag, in the boot of the car. So I shall, uh, I shall, I shall <laughs> get those inky fingers cleaned up, ready for the next show later. Uh, but they do dry, I mean, to be fair, that's why we've been talking, practically dried itself. Yeah. Um, but I'm just giving it a little, and I say it waft over, up and front, back to forth, over across. And you can see again that beautiful sparkle. It's just, honestly, if you've <laughs> never that. used our sparkle pens before... I urge you just to try them because they're absolutely beautiful pens to work with. So I'm just going to move that to one side and then I'm just going to clear up this area as well, um, Ionica, while I get... The I'll, I'll read a few comments that are coming through whilst you're having a bit of a tidy up. So Caroline, uh, Carol Ann, sorry, on Facebook has said, if anyone hasn't seen the shaving foam method, you need to. 
I do. This sounds really cool. Um, Gilmore on YouTube saying, I can imagine seeing one of the sleigh and the reindeer dies going across the moon. Lovely background. Good idea. That would work. Ooh, um, yeah. A few people asking again, is, uh, is it a watercolour uh, card? It is. Mary, Mary's saying, lovely background, Debbie. Lo loads of love on the background. Um, Joan is just saying, I really need to try this. Yes, you do, Joan. Do it. Yep, uh, the sapphire blue, I love the technique, Debbie. The dries so pretty. I did this on canvases. I suppose, yeah, it wouldn't make no difference on a canvas, would it? Just be bigger. Well, or you could have a small canvas. Who knows? Um, someone was asking, um, saying about my dress. It's actually a jumpsuit. Um, <laughs> jumpsuit. <laughs> Oh, I've got the Always deceiving on. when you can only see the top part. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm only short as well. Um, yes, keep your comments coming through because we love chatting to you and I know you're probably busy crafting, but if you do have any questions, pop them through and I will read them out. Okay, we're going to have a little cheeky look at the glitter markers. Um, I'm going to show you these ones here. First of all, we've got the Essential Brights, this one. There we go. Look how gorgeous these are. These are $51.96, $67.80, or Platinum Member, $41.57, or $54.24. If you are buying four of these, you are getting two of these bad boys for free. I mean, who doesn't love a freebie? I do. Um, this one, we've got the soft pastels, which I just think these are absolutely lovely. Um, always very calming, aren't they? The next one we've got, let's see, we've got the tint and tone, which... Have we been, we've been demonstrating these ones, haven't we, on the show, Debbie? Yes. There yeah. we go. Tint and tone. Yeah, really lovely strong colour if you saw the beginning of that. And then here we've got the earthy naturals, which you were also using. There we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. And then here we've got the antique vintage. And then, as we were showing you, the glitter brush pens. These are the clear overlays. And these are gorgeous so if you haven't got these we've, we've not got much time on the show left so get them into your baskets and then you can have a go at all of the amazing techniques that debbie is showing us on the show so debbie let's let's see what we've got next i'm excited right so we've got them all nice and dry so i'm just going to kind of repeat what i did with the blue one uh, but i'm going to use the glitter overlay to create a little bit of a um a lifting technique or a full bleaching technique um because i want it to act like a little bit like um snow drops on top of the uh, brickwork oh so okay. i'm literally just i'm popping a bit down onto there to pick up and then just giving it a little splash over if you remember that there's a you know this is water content with the microfine glitter or the ultra fine glitter that's in there uh -huh. um, and you can create that same technique that i did with the water probably won't be as intense as the water because don't forget the glitter is in here so where we've got more of a, a defined look there yes this one probably won't be the, you know, as, as striking. So Could you to speak. use an embossing powder? Would that work? Uh, no, no, no. So embossing powder is something completely different. Um, this is a water-based one. Embossing powder is like a powder that you apply with a, a sticky ink. Um, ah. So yes, so it's completely different. Just as uh, well so again, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> literally, it's yeah. all good to ask these questions. Uh, but can you see ah, how nice. lovely that looks? Uh, a bit more of a softer look, uh -huh. uh, but absolutely beautiful again literally nice. creating those and that was using the clear overlay um purely on its own for that reason and i do love using the clear overlay uh for giving me different looks uh, but now we've got those all ready we're going to now do the embossing part and it's only on the brickwork that we're going to do these bits with okay. Ayanka. and this is obviously six and a half by six and a half um, and I've got mine that actually just fits into there. However, you can achieve that look just by cleverly moving it around, which is what we're going to do in a moment. So I'm going to use this. Now, this is from our range. And do you know what? I'm trying to remember which range this came with. Uh, but it's the brick layers. Um, and it actually embosses beautifully onto Centura Pearl. I always, I always do myself one in oh, so that wow. I can see what it looks like and, and keep it inside my folder. Uh, but that's the lovely brickwork. And I thought this lent itself to this gorgeous collection uh, and this design because it's chimney base it looks like a chimney do you know you know you're talking about the chimney breast earlier yes it's the same as on a robin it's a red breast isn't it on the front of it so it just means the front of something yes yeah 
Just call me the Encyc Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're welcome. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of a hoverang there, but I'm not going to worry too much. What I'm just doing is lining it up, and to get the brickwork effect, uh, just try and line it straight. So just choose you, you to look through your embossing folder to see if you've got that on uh, straight. It is a 2D standard embossing folder, so it just requires the uh, platform of your two clear cutting plates. You don't want a wonky uh, chimney, do you? <laughs> no, no, Santa won't get there. down it. Although if you look if at like some that. houses, uh, some oh, houses you can't oh. get wonky, wonky chimney breasts. Uh, you can. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, but literally, all I'm going to do now is just move it onto the other side, um, and again, just to create that look. And I'm going to, in fact, to tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back in over the top because it won't really make too much of a difference. I'm trying to line my bricks up with each other so that I've got a nice, um, not so wonky <laughs> chimney breast. Uh, but again, it's just just to give a, a lovely finished look or, or going across the strip. And I'll do that with the bigger one because sometimes you think that we've got to use... Oops, did I say I didn't want a wonky chimney breast? Have you done it wrong? I've moved. You've moved. I've oh, moved. Oh, Santa's definitely so not going down that chimney. So now I've got a chimney. wonky chimney breast, so I'm going to take that one out <laughs> and I'm going to go back in and reapply that because that's the beautiful thing about embossing, ah, which like people this. don't realise you can do. You can correct your mistakes because you're re-embossing the cardstock into oh, the brilliant. format okay. you want. So yes. it's not so, a big drama. So my little movement there didn't really matter too much because, if, look, if you, you want to have a look see. on the, the website see. as well, you can have a look at the set in stone one, which is quite similar. So have a look on, a, um, on the website there. I'm just going to read a few comments that are coming through thick and fast. Mary Lee on YouTube. Debbie, the Imperial Leather Soap work really works. It can be ordered from Amazon in the US. I ordered several bars and gave them to my crafty friend. Now we use ink with abandon. Thanks. Also, I know in a lot of the local shops here, you can get them in supermarkets. And it's about... I don't know, about one pound for four bars. I mean, my dad's a scrap man, that's why I've got loads in our house. <laughs> um, Susan says, clear overlays are wonderful. I now use them to edge my sentiments, scribble and wetted aqua pencil on the glass and work in the, the bush tip sparkle pen can mix and scribble those too. So many, I mean, pearls of wisdom come through here. Yeah, thanks. Learn it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I remember the day when Imperial Soap used to be one of the most expensive soaps. No. Um, and uh, you were only you were you, you were normally quite wealthy if you had Imperial um, <coughs> Imperial leather soap in your house. Really? Honestly, yeah. <gasps> you're probably you're probably way too you're you're way too young. I <laughs> get to know that. Uh, but yeah, I remember um, my grandma um, used to love Imperial soap, and that's where my first love affair came with Imperial soap. Aww. It is absolutely an amazing soap, and it. Inky Fingers, it's one of the ones that I would recommend, Fiona would recommend it, uh, because it's absolutely fabulous to get all those, uh, you know, all the inks off there. Now, all I'm doing with this, Ionica, is just simply moving it around so that I've got a full brickwork detail. Oh, I see, And yeah. can you see now, Look all the way that. across there, it's absolutely beautiful, and that's what I've just done to create that, because you can manoeuvre it around, um, yeah. and all it's done is given a really lovely detailed on there, um, and if you want to highlight a bit more, you could use some gilding wax over the top but I just wanted a subtle look which yep. I think you can see I've achieved that quite well there yeah, on both of nice. those so that's just using your embossing folder nice to know about the other one because I completely forgot about that one the setting stone did you set in stone yes, yeah yeah I website. completely forgot about that one so that's a really nice one to know as well um, we so get, now what we've got I can show is, it Debbie we can we can show it we can put oh it can we show yeah. yeah perfect so look it's crafters companion six by six embossing folder set in stone yep. it's 4.99 and that'll give you a different look because that this this one this this one that I'm using actually came with that set because I think there was four, if I remember rightly, of those embossing folders and two of them were brickwork. One of them more traditional brick and one of that, um, I call it an iggledy piggledy one, the, sh the, the different shaped ones. <laughs> That's where I can describe it. Um, but yeah, you can use either and you'll get two different looks. So what we've got now are our pieces all ready from our background to our brickwork, uh, to our chimney breast there. Um, so what we'll do is we will grab, because I can see time running out and now we're all... We are, we're, we're running get, out fast. I know, I don't know where it comes from, I really don't. The time just flies by in here. Woo. Uh, but we've got our two pieces as well, which are going to decorate the outside of the card. So I think what we'll do first is we'll, we'll get that little part done. However... 
I think I might pop. I'll tell you what. No. I'm going to change it up a little bit, Annika. I'm going to change right. it up a little bit because I'm going to add my ribbon onto the outside panel here of the card. All right. And then we'll decorate it. So grab hold of your ribbon. So nice ribbon <laughs> is entirely up to you. Susan says on YouTube, um, Debbie, aren't, tech, aren't antique chimney breasts wonky? Could go with the old time theme. Very true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Uh, so I've just got myself some sparkly ribbon here, but choose any of the ribbons. You just need to cut a couple of pieces uh, to length so that you can create a tied bow in here. And what I'm going to do is I want you to just take your card blank um, and imagine where this is going to go because this is going to be sat down together. In fact, I'll tell you right. what, we'll stick this together, Ironica. We'll make life easy for ourselves. Yeah. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll <laughs> stick this panel. Now this is, this is important, this part, Ironica. So when I'm going to pop this on, I'm just going to put a piece running down the side right. so I'm, and I'm using construction um, construction I'm using red liner tape again because this is a construction card um, there's a little bit of movement to it so I'm just literally taking my red liner tape um, I'm going to seal it at the bottom as well so I'm going to pop a little piece on the bottom so I'm going to run that across there so there we go pop that onto there what i'm not going to do though is i'm not going to put a long piece going across the top i'm just literally and you could take your father christmas and pop him as a little guide grab your pencil again and just make a mark so that you know you're not going to take and it doesn't matter inside because you want some space for him to maneuver so what i'm not going to do is just pop a little bit of tape just here at the top but i'm not going across those pencil marks because i don't want my father christmas to have no movement to sit inside if that makes sense so right. that's where you would put your tape so and this is nice strong tape day. isn't it super strong tape this Annika, absolutely super strong i'm going to peel that back all of those pieces and normally I'll say to give yourself a little bit of extra wiggle time, I would say put some uh, runny glue over the top or all-purpose glue just over the top. However, oh, right. um, the danger is there that you might, cut, you might spread your glue into this area and that's the last thing we want because what we're going to do <laughs> now is simply stick this panel and if I do it like this to show you, we're going to stick those two pieces together. Ah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place it and I'm going to use the fold line at the bottom to help me get that into place there we go and then when you top place that now you've got the perfect place however what you have got is the sitting place for your father christmas because we haven't sealed that we've just sealed around here to create that lip so that he can actually sit inside oh see what you did there yeah so it creates the little gift card wallet for him to sit inside and that's how you would do that so just a little bit of glue of your chosen glue around there but again not going across the top because you want this area to be clean for him to sit inside so that's that bit stuck together turn it back over get your ribbon and you're going to pop a piece of ribbon on the outside so i'm just going to hold it down again with the red liner tape i love it when um ribbons have cards have ribbons on them because i just think it finishes it off really nicely yeah just seals it together really well and i'm going to pop one on the other side as well so that bit now will be my uh, ribbon but it's going to get covered up so don't worry about the red liner tape being exposed it doesn't matter because we're covering that up in a moment with one of our panels of our outside so you oh, can see yeah. it covers it up it gives it a really neat finish um so all you're going to do now is pop your um glue of choice onto there so i'll go with all purpose for this one so we'll pop all purpose all the way around and a little bit of extra um glue take off your red liner tape covering and then that can sit on the top and it gives it a little bit of extra reinforcement there on both sides and then you sit one panel and just neaten that up make sure it's all nice and central gives you glue time wiggle time to get it into place give that a little burnish and we're going to repeat that on the other side as well so i'll lift off the uh, red liner tape I'm just going to read a comment on YouTube, Debbie. Mary Lee on YouTube says, My daughter was doing inky backgrounds yesterday and had ink 
everywhere. She was having such a good time, I could only laugh at the inky mess and the giant pile of paper towels. Oh, <laughs> oh creativity is the best, isn't it? It absolutely is. It absolutely is, and it's time of her life doing it. So, you know, the, the, it's a win situation. That's what it's about, isn't it? It's and for you, Mary, backgrounds galore that you could use. <laughs> so I would <laughs> see it as a good definite win. Uh, so now that seals that up, and it actually just ties it all up together as well, oh. so it gives it a nice finish. So this is when we're then going to pop our black uh, matte pieces onto there. So again, I'm just going to pop down some all-purpose glue. Gosh, this is going to be a tight finish, isn't it? Oof. Race to the finish, Debbie. Race to the... I know, I'm just looking at the clock. Then I'm like, where did the two hours go? And there's me thinking, oh, I'll get another demo in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm getting a bit clever there, a bit cocky, cocky with myself then. Thinking, <laughs> yeah, we'll get, we'll get another one in. Oh, easy done. Uh, but, uh, so that's just sealing the inside. And don't forget, you've got your two chimney breast panels as well. So we'll stick one either side of there too. So again, pop your glue on. Glue of choice. I love, when I'm watching demonstrations, I love, you get about, I don't know, halfway, three quarters of the way through, and then all of a sudden it just happens, the, the magic happens in front of your eyes, you go, oh wow, it's there, it's just created, the magic has happened, and this is what I'm seeing now, just, we're at the final hurdle. It, it, and that's exactly what it is. It's, I always love it when I, when I put a project together. I'd started with the gift card holder and then I thought, I need him to sit somewhere. And then I came up with the idea because mm -hmm. uh, one of the cards that I did on the launch, I thought, oh, it'd make a perfect um, chimney breast. And then I'm thinking, oh, the background. Oh, and then we've got sparkle pens on the show. <laughs> it was almost too good an opportunity. It's almost like it spoke to me when I saw <laughs> what we were on the show. And I thought, do you know what? Absolutely perfect for this. Now, when you're thinking about where you're sitting it, you're going to have your background oh, at yes. the top. Look at and that. And you're going to have the <gasps> brickwork on the bottom. And then the brickwork is going to sit either side of there as well so that uh, you can see the chimney breast yes, either angles. So what you're going to do now is stick those panels down. Again, you can choose, uh, because it's a raised one, make sure if you are using your all-purpose glue, you're getting it into the grooves as well because this is an embossed area. Yeah. So I'm giving it a good coverage all the way across. And we'll pop that on. Debbie, you've got... Um, <coughs> I know. I, uh, I, heard her in to go. I heard five her in here. I heard her in here. Five minutes. We're on the five-minute countdown. Um, and the lovely thing as well with all purposes, if you do get a little bit that comes off, you can rub it off in between your fingers. So if you do get some splurge or some seepage coming out at the ends, yeah. the lovely thing about that is, is that you can get rid of that. You could, of course, use red liner tape to seal it down as well if you wanted to. Uh, but honestly, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those things. And for speed, I am actually going to use. You're getting cheered on in the comments, so that you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> I know it's like pressure crafting. Come on, come on, you can do it. <laughs> so again, just on that side, the same on the other. Um, just choose your glue of choice to stick this down. Um, but I think you'll admit when you, when you create these backgrounds, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. The pens are lovely pens to work with. So uh, much depth. They are, yeah. That's what I love about them. Um, and again, just smooth that out all the way across there. And then... Four minutes <laughs> to go, Debbie. <laughs> and four then minutes lastly, to go. Oh, four minutes, Debbie. Four minutes. I can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then again, I'm just adding just the pressure. Pop that, I know, just pop that onto there. And then that creates the other chimney breast. And then what you're going to do is we're going to sit Father Christmas with our little gift card message inside. Is going to sit inside the gap imperfectly. You can use his belt oh. as a stop to stop him from going down any further. Or you can push him in. It's entirely up to you how far down you want to go with it. Uh, but then you seal it all up. And I'm going to be careful. Let me just make sure I've got all my glue yeah. rubbed off there. Because I don't want it to stick together on either side and spoil that. Uh, but what you've got now is, and I'll just hold it up because this is when you can then uh, pop your message on the front so you could use a sentiment, uh, but it ties up in a lovely, neat, um, but it gives it a nice finish. That's what yeah. I'm trying to go with. It gives it a lovely finish just by adding the bow on. I love um, this. And then when you open it up, 
Let's just make sure I open it up. You've got your beautiful oh, there he is. Christmas sat there poking out the little chimney breast with the gift card in oh. there as well um, and to show you how beautiful it is. And you've got space to pop a little message on here. If you want your chimney breast to sit up, you could add one of those little cubes onto the back oh, and yeah. then it could sit up beautifully onto the back of there as well. It's entirely up to you how you do that, but I just think it looks absolutely beautiful and it's a lovely place for him to sit inside. He looks very at home there in his he chimney. He does, down, going down his chimney. <laughs> uh, and again, little messages you could be putting away whether it is for this gift card. So you could be putting the name on there, use your alphabets. Uh, and you, uh, honestly, that little bit is the decoration bit. But once you're done, you've got your lovely project with your Father Christmas sat there in the middle and the lovely gift card as well. Gorgeous. Yay, I got it done. Woo! Yay, well done. Whew. Everyone, was, it was all the cheering on that they got. I just have one comment that I want to read. Um, ink that doesn't wash off will wear off in the next day or two. So you could rock it. You'd be like, hey, hey. I've Inky been crafting. fingers. I've been crafting. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the red liner tape. Just tell you the offers on that that we have got. We have got the 12 by 10 here. There we go. 12, 12 millimetre by 10 and this is £20 or $40 and you're getting a 20% saving on platinum which is £16 or $32. This one is the 6 millimetres by 10 millimetres. It's permanent ultra clear tape and it is acid free. And the last one that we have got is the 3 millimetre by 10 millimetres and you're getting three of each there. Um, I've, um, I feel like I've got someone coming in. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome you, back. Thanks so much. I just thought I'd pop in at the end of the show and just say um, thanks for helping out. You weren't supposed to do as long as I've, I feel like I've slacked a bit, but um, you're enjoying yourself, so I, you know. Oh, thanks. Um, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. When you're next back, do you know? No. Oh. Because I'm doing a show in London next week. Oh, yeah, of course you are. Well, we'll see, we'll, we'll see you back here very soon, won't we? Very soon. Yeah. Thanks very so soon. much. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> that was a bit creepy, that, wasn't it? The way I just appeared from underneath the <laughs> counter. I won't do that again. Uh, listen, hopefully you've enjoyed our um, craft along. Big thank you to um, Ionica and also to Debbie. Don't forget, get this collection because we'll get it out to you and then you'll have a two-hour craft along then uh, to be able to, um, to follow along and you'll have uh, three other die sets to be able to work with as well. It's a brilliant collection. Uh, get it today for this amazing price, 32.79 or 38.36. Hey, coming back in two hours' time, myself and Debbie for a brilliant show second chance Sunday if you've missed out on any of our amazing deals recently we'll be bringing all of those to you in a two-hour extravaganza plus of course you'll get to vote for your uh, card of the week all that on the way uh, big thanks to the team check out your baskets you can continue to buy after the show and we'll see you back here for second chance Sunday in a couple of hours bye for now <laughs>